Oh, banana. I don't know the soundtrack. Well, the only song I know is Jungle Japes and the intro song. But that's all I know. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a good week. Uh, shout out to... I saw Dreamlink. I saw your chat earlier. Have I seen the new 3D platformer Bolt Bot Screwy Viruses? Looks a bit like an N64 platformer. I have not. But I will have to uh, check it out now. Thanks for the shout out. Appreciate the chat. Is Sonic Heroes remake a possibly possibility? Oh. <laughs> like, listen, I'm not gonna listen. Okay. Let me clarify on this point because Rising Dragon Soul and I were talking about this in chat the other night. Hey, Robbie, what's up? Good to see you in chat. Hope you're doing well. Hey, I better not be keeping you up, Robbie. Definitely get some sleep if you need to. But I know you've been meaning to jump into these DK64 streams. Um, we'll see how tonight goes. I'll try not to get too frustrated just for you. Um, listen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny a Sonic Heroes. It wouldn't be a remake. So listen, I know Midori supposed insider leaker was out there talking about um You know, was talking about a Unreal Engine 5 remake of Sonic Heroes. 100 percent fake, I'm just gonna say that right now. I could see a remaster of Sonic Heroes. At the very least, that game could get re-released, and it should. Like, I hope that rumor's real. I didn't make a YouTube short about it because I still don't buy it, but I hope it's real because Sega did say recently they've been wanting to get more into their back catalog, which of course they should be, especially with Sonic games. Sonic Heroes is one of the only Sonic games, I mean, a a bunch of them during that era were at that time that just haven't been re-released. You know, Sonic Colors has been now. Sonic Generations is going to get now, and even that one's not even that old. Um, like I know Sonic Unleashed has them, but like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, as much as I love those games, they've been re-released in previous years. Sonic Heroes has never been re-released outside of its generation. There was like a PC version that came out like maybe like a year later after release. But besides that, you know, give it another shot. Clean up some of the controls, because honestly, if they made the control like the controls less slippery in that game, and they did go beyond just a basic remaster, like I'd be hundred percent for it. Like they, that game would actually become even better. Like I think Sonic Heroes is a solid game. You know, I liked it more when I was a kid, like growing up playing it. Now going back to it, it's a little tough, but it's a fun game. You know, and it, sh it should get another shot. The song is very creepy. <laughs> it's not even Halloween. I hope everyone's been having a good week. I am doing okay on my end. Still, really, I can't tell if I got COVID after Pax or not. I thought I might have. Now I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just... I'm laying low just to be safe. But do, feeling fine, doing good... Ready for some more DK. You should be, well, doing as much of a uh, fungi forest as I can tonight. I have a few things left. I forgot. I realized I didn't do the boss last time. And then start on a, it should be crystal caves, I think is the next level, but we'll see. Very good. Nice, Pena. I'm glad to hear. 
Very good week. Just started learning about helicopters and removing parts. That's super cool. Yeah, Pinata, how's that been? Uh, oh, 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 how's that been going? Has that been going good? Because that's for like classes and stuff, right? I know you've mentioned those on a on previous streams, so hope those are going well. But that's cool. I imagine learning about like helicopter movement and just like the moving pieces of it. Like that sounds super cool. So hope you're finding it interesting. I mean, it sounds like you are. So it's good to hear. They really slow this thing down. Ah, stressful, tired, somewhat. Can't drink booze. <laughs> We're stress relief. So yeah, if, um, but like, I mean, at least it sounds like you're interested in what you're learning about, which is good. But yeah, I mean, I imagine it's stressful. Oh, liver. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Pinata. Because of liver issues, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you definitely... Your liver does not like when you drink booze. Trust me, been there. So, that really stinks to hear. Oh, hey, there are other ways to relieve stress besides drinking booze. So, hopefully you can find some of them. Yeah, definitely, like Robbie said, take care of yourself, for sure. You know, play your favorite video game that doesn't stress you out. You know, if you're good enough at roguelikes, Pinata, which it sounds like you are, play more roguelikes. Yeah, that can be a good stress reliever, depending on the game. It's fine, it just happens when you don't take a yearly physical in five years. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. It's good to get yourself regularly checked out. I mean, now that I think about it, there was like a few-year gap where... I needed to get a new doctor after being too old for my pediatrician, and I didn't. But yeah, no, it's important. You got to get yourself checked out because you, you never know, right? Get the yearly blood work, you know, just because you never know what's going on with your body, you know? And if you feel bad, go see a doctor. Go consult a doctor. You know, like two weeks ago when I, when I, had, when I was at the peak of my sinus infection, I was like, I feel like ass. I could have been like, oh, yeah, I'll just let it continue on. It could have turned into pneumonia again like a few months ago. But no, I did that telehealth and I got the antibiotics and I felt much better after that. So always look after yourself. Take care of yourselves. Listen to what your body's trying to tell you because your body will literally be like, hey, I am in pain. Something's wrong. You got to act on it. You know, it's important to look after yourself. We'll get started in just a sec here. No worries, Robbie. It sounds like you've been super busy on your end, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're able to jump in quickly from time to time. It's always good to see you. Always good to see you all. All right, let's get a hype song going. Like this has the atmosphere. We're not looking for atmosphere right now. We're looking for hype. This could do it. This will do it. Oh yeah. I'm feeling this one. Here we go. Come on. Bass is gonna drop. Boom! All right. Me trying to pump up an N64 song. Gonna <laughs> go as well. You're here on stream most of the time. You're the super worker. No worries at all, Bangata. I mean, that's that's what's fun about these streams, right? Like, of course, I always appreciate when you guys are in chat and chatting, but like, you know, you can put it on the background. You can watch the VODs after, you know, it's the options are always good. Took a few days of leave. Oh, nice. Right. You said you had a long weekend. Hopefully you'll be able to regroup. But before you burn yourself out again, for sure. So does that start now, Robbie? Oh, is that why you're here? Because you get to sleep in tomorrow. Nice. I remember you mentioned you have a long weekend coming up. So glad to hear that. All right, let me lower this a little bit first. All right, with that, we are going to jump into tonight's stream. Oh, no. What? Hello? Give me a second. 
what was with that camera? Did anybody else see that or was that just me? <laughs> was the camera really stuttery or was that just me? <laughs> that was like, I saw that. All right, hold on. I gotta go back in and fix this real quick. I apologize in advance. Why is it so slow? Hold on, give me a second. How's that? Oh, that's still bad. This camera, what's going on? All right, give me another sec. Off for the next week and a half. Nice, Robbie, that's awesome. All right. Let me switch to... Oh, <laughs> I could just do... Here's what we'll do. What if we just do the virtual console as the camera? <laughs> That's not trippy at all. <laughs> Give me a sec here. Also, hope you like the new background. Hope you like the new layout. I just changed it up yesterday. Let me select the actual camera here. There we go. And then let me get the brightness up. OBS just likes to fuck with me. That's all. And then do that. Boom. We are good. What is going on, all of you amazing gamers out there in the world? I am Mega Amster. Thank you for being here, however you watch, live in the chat or not, or watching the VOD after the fact. We've got five concurrent viewers. Shout out to all of you. Appreciate you watching. I do want to give a shout out to everybody live in chat. Pinata, Robbie, Neto. Great to see the three of you. I hope you're doing well. We've got a week vacation in two weeks. Are you excited? That's awesome. We've got a week vacation. Week long vacations are great. Like, it's always tough to come back from, but don't think about that going in. Just think about the enjoyment of that week off. That's awesome. You're going to start to emulate on the Steam Deck. Nice. Let me know how that goes. You want to do so much. Let's do it again. Nice. Yeah, Pinata, definitely no, because I'm looking into that as well. Once I finish emulating my games on just regular PC, I'm going to look into the Steam Deck as well. Definitely keep me posted on progress you make, because I'm going to be looking to do the same thing soon. But with that, we're not here to pirate games. We are here to play DK64 on Wii U Virtual Console. It is emulation, though. Um, and not great one at that. But last time, I really tried to get through all of Fungi Forest. Couldn't quite make it. I still have a few things left to do, and I'm going to have to backtrack to get an, a lanky ability later on. So I'm going to dive back into Fungi Forest, see what I can do, at least do the boss to get the next key, and unlock the next level, which I believe should be Crystal Caves, the sixth one. So we're going to try to do that tonight. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. But any audio or video issues, as always, if you are watching live and in the chat, I would greatly appreciate it if you let me know. DK! Conky Dong! For sure, you definitely get to emulate heroes. Shadow. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely keep me posted. I know Dolphin's supposed to be pretty straightforward, but I'm wondering in terms of other emulators, like how you get them running on Steam Deck. So definitely keep me posted, because like playing those in handheld mode would be awesome. <laughs> All right, what percentage are we looking at? 61, we're getting there. 22 hours, we're getting there. <laughs> this is a part 10? All right, all right. <sighs> all right, let me look at my totals before I jump into anything here. So this is for DK Isle, I'm not gonna worry about that. I do already have two banana fairs, it's pretty good. And four to eight. Yeah, so I, I literally just remember before starting stream, I never did the boss for Fungi Forest. So I should definitely do that tonight. Um, I believe this is the right way. And just, I'm I, honestly, I'm just probably going to try to get everything except for that one, the stupid race against the bunny, which I can't do yet. I need another lanky ability. I'm, I'm missing that. So I'm going to have to come back and do that at a different uh, time. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I get the ability in, like, uh, gla whatever it's called, not Glacier. It's like, uh, maybe it is. I thought it was Crystal Caves, but we'll see. Subscribe from the Marvel Rivals Alpha. T oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good point, Nano, because I'd be curious about your take on that. Um, Marvel Rivals, right? That was the hero shooter that was just, or not hero shooter. The team, like, shoot... What do you even call that? Team Deathmatch game? Don't, oh, you signed up as well, Robbie. Nice. The one that was just announced for today. Ooh, look at that texture. Um, Nice. Yeah, it kind of... is. What is Overwatch? The hero shooter. That's what, Okay. Is Overwatch 6v6? 
because that's what the Marvel one they said it's going to be. Um, yeah, that was Marvel's big game announcement today, so that seemed to have people decently interested. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't done it sooner. Like, it just makes sense. I mean, I guess they tried to have Avengers, but I know that was a different style of game, but it seems like this Marvel Rivals would have just made more sense from the get-go. So, I mean, at least they're doing it now. All right. I am missing a banana as Diddy. I'm trying to remember what that was. I'm missing a few. Okay, so I'm still missing quite a few things, actually. More than I realize. I'm also missing the five bananas is tiny that I would like to figure out. So I am missing quite a few things. Although you suck at any shooters, but hey, at least, you know. If you sign up for the alpha test, like, are you guaranteed a spot? Because I know sometimes you sign up and it's just like, oh, you sign up to essentially get a chance to be in. Um, but in that case, Robbie, I mean, it's probably worth it to at least give it a shot. Like, why not? I mean, am I going to do it? Probably not. I mean, I could, but eh, I don't know if I'm personally that interested. Nice burp, dude. Wait, is Overwatch a game you only see? Nice pinata. Ah! Oh, I thought that was a mushroom I could bounce on. I forgot these have they have these enemies here. Um. Don't worry, Pinata. There's plenty of Marvel waifu for you. Although I prefer DC myself, but there should be some. You think they pick people? Up? Okay, so you like sign up to be in the pool, essentially, to be like able to be selected. That looks like something maybe I could go into, right? But then again, I don't know. Listen, I grew up with the DC cartoons. <laughs> Many of those characters were my sexual awakening, all right? I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Especially like Justice League Unlimited, like Batman Brave and the Bold era. Yeah, yeah. They'll probably pick because of the server. Right, that makes sense. Because otherwise, I mean, I'm sure, especially with Marvel, there's gonna be a ton of people signing up. So there's just probably gonna be so much going on with that. Um, do I dare pull up the guide? I think I'm gonna listen, that's as far as I'm gonna mention, but listen, I'm not gonna lie. I would never lie to you all. Alright. What am I actually missing right now? Because I think I'm good as Donkey Kong. I'm totally good as DK. I know one of the things I'm missing is with Lanky with the rabbit race thing. Let me check the other characters though. All right. Where's the, where's Diddy? There you go. Did I do his blueprint? Oh, wait. Is that what I'm literally missing with all these characters? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I just didn't do the blueprint as them, did I? That's what it is for most of them. Yeah, okay. Okay, for most of them. It looks like Tiny Soul is one. Okay. Well, that makes things a lot easier, actually. Also, the funny thing about the subscription, they ask you about other hero shooters and shows Overwatch. Oh, interesting. I mean, I wonder if they're going to, like... First of all, they could totally pick players based on what games you've already played before. So maybe, like, if they're going for that Overwatch vibe, they're going to specifically pick people who have played Overwatch. Or people who haven't. I don't know what they're going to go for. You know, and then go from there. You know, maybe that could be a, a factor in their playtesting. I mean, it's important for these games to have alpha tests like this to really get feedback and, you know, make the game even better experience for everybody. And they asked about the time played and the biggest option is 300 hours. The biggest option is 300 hours. I was going to say, Neta, you've played more than 300 hours, right? Right, that's like, people have played way more than 300 hours of Overwatch. You kidding me? Like, that's, was it just like 300 plus? Is that what they listed it as? Okay, so I think I need to do everybody except Donkey Kong. He's the only one I've done. 
More than 2,000, yeah. That's what we need, Kong. There you go, Snide. Can't go wrong with a good old glass of orange juice. How's everybody's week been, though? Besides that, I know that was the big talk of the town today. Listen, seems like a big game. Seems like it's going to be cool. Um, I'm excited about the fact that Sega of America finally unionized. Like, that's sick. Like, that's a big deal. Because there was that talk that they had mentioned a while ago, like months ago. And they finally got the contract ratified today, so it's legit. They are the first major... Oh, I get two. Banana. They are the first of, uh, like, the big U.S. gaming corporations to unionize successfully, which is awesome. Gonna check out the real number. Nice. Like, that's huge. You know? I hope it sets a trend. Even if it's just Sega, I mean, that's great, but hopefully more companies. Is that the same thing when you enter the survey? You haven't played any, so I might skip over you. So they ask about experience with Marvel IP. See, that I could see them finding valuable, too. Like, not only, like, playing other... Uh, hero shooters, but also if you're like familiar with the comics, if you watch the movies or yeah, the TV shows, stuff like that. Because they probably would want fans to enjoy it too. I'm sure they're going to have a ton of fan service in those games. Like, why not? So like, that could totally be valuable input too. And like, Robbie, you seem like a decently big Marvel fan. So, you know, they might pick you on stuff like that alone. Yeah, and like, yeah, I mean, you want a decent variety of people. What they can probably do is like look at your like play statistics as play, right? Because I imagine, I imagine they would correspond. I don't know how they would do it, but right, there's gotta be a way for them to correspond your survey results and if they pick you to like your in-game player data, right? Because all these games are collecting your player data, so they'd probably be able to track all that stuff. So did that count as no? Okay. I don't know why I got two bananas for Tiny there, but I did. Um, she still has one more other banana, and so does Lanky. So I got to figure those out. But yeah, I mean, that, that's what you want to do, right? You want to pick a good variety. Like, you probably want to pick some newbies as well. But based on, you know, if you have experience with the shooters, or if you have experience with other, like, Marvel IP, like, they'll probably look at that and then look at your gameplay and, like, make some... Some assumptions based on that, you know, which, I mean, it is important data for a game like this to have, right? I mean, like, you gotta design your game well and account for different types of players. Right. Okay, I remember which one I missed with Tiny. I remember, okay, I remember what I had to do with Tiny. All right, let me, okay. Let me do that now. I'm gonna do the boss eventually. But what I have to do, it's with this house in the middle here. I remember I came across this last stream and I couldn't do it just yet, or I didn't do it. Now I got to. Just for the record, wow. 20 to 85 hours, that's so long. And your most played character is 406 hours which is more than 300 they ask. That's just one character. What a, uh, remind me Neto, what uh, what character is that? Do you know, does it give you that level of information? Yeah, so what I want to do, right. I forgot about this part. So I need to come back here. Ugh, I don't want to deal with spiders. Dang it, I got to come back here with Tiny. At, at night. And then we can do that. Reinhardt. All right, no idea who that is, but <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I know Overwatch. I know all the important ones for the reasons that Pinata mentioned earlier. <laughs> all right, how am I getting back? Wait, so hear me out. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. No, I remember what you're supposed to do here. Right, because there's a small opening. Can I get through this right now? 
Or do I have to... I think I broke this crate last stream, but let me see if I... Yeah, I do have it. Okay. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to check. That's what I need to use to get in there. Because originally there was a crate in front of there that I had to break with Chunky. Followed by... Oh, Junkrat. Is Junkrat... Is... I might have asked you this before, Neto. Is Junkrat new in Overwatch 2? And Hanzo. Cool. Very cool. Alright, there we go. Ooh, that twirl. Nice twirl. Ah, every time, man. The uh, drawbacks of having a thumbstick instead of the, the face buttons to do these moves is that sometimes it doesn't read the inputs correctly. All right. Oh, Junkrat's one of the OG. Then who was the one... Who was... Oh. There was some... Who's who's the Mad Max girl that they added into Overwatch 2? I remember seeing that trailer when they announced... Or, like, shortly after they announced the game or something. Who, what character is that? So that's not Junkrat. All right, where... Hold on. It's so dark, I can't even see what's going on. Junker Queen, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking of. Strong Woman, yes. <laughs> I like how Peñata had the name first. I know what you're going for there, Peñata. That's so funny. Um, did I do this? I'm pretty sure I did that, right? That's Chunky. I feel like I did that. Yeah, okay, that's who I was thinking of. All right, listen, I'd rather not do this. Oh, there's the rest of Tiny's bananas. Do I really have to do this? Come on. Why? Why? Please let it be, like, blocky. It's gonna be a blocky spider, right? She's the leader of Junkorton, and she... She expelled Junkrat and Roadhog for... Oh, I've heard of Roadhog, too. That's funny. So it's like a separate society they have of, like, Mad Max-like characters. All right, please let it be, like, a blocky spider. Or just Goma. Oh, that's funny. Yum. <laughs> okay, that one's kind of funny, though. Oh, also only has six legs? What is that thing? You're not a spider. Oh, there's multiple. They only have six legs. Ow. Those aren't spiders. Ah! You hit your own spider, dude. What are you doing? All right, let me get the gun out. Get out the gun! No! No, get out the gun and let me move. There we go. Oh. Good. Can I get some health, though? Bruh. What are you doing? You're awake now? Oh, what am I supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to shoot it? They run so fast. Holy crap, look at how fast they run. Let me see if I can shoot the... Can I shoot you? There we go. Whoa! Oh no! Oh! I'm running out of feathers here. Ow! Hey! Nah! What did that? What? Oh man! Well, I'm about to die. Well, that was fun. I have no watermelon. Yeah, and I look good here. I'm gonna have to redo this fight. Oh well. Australia went to shit in Overwatch? Oh. 
So in Overwatch's universe, Junkerton or whatever, that is Australia? That's kind of funny. That's actually really funny. Go! Shoot! Oh, man. The timing on that is rough. All right. I just don't want to waste any more feathers right now. Preferably. They, those spiders run so fast. Oh! There we go. Run! There we go. Oh! Good. 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 Glad I can shoot. Oh my god, and it reverses my controls. No! No! Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> You're not surprised about Australia's outcome? I mean, Australia does have giant spiders, so I'm also not surprised. Most of it, there are maps on there. And both have the Mad Max style, that's funny. That's kind of funny. Interesting lore. Who knew about the Australian lore? I wonder how real Australians, people from Australia, feel about Overwatch. About Junkerton. <laughs> I like the little yum yum sound effect. That's good. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Oh! Whoa! Ah, here's an idea. Hey, no, I didn't say that. Can I not? I don't want to equip my weapon, actually, thanks. Over here, where you going? There we go. Oh! That's not what I did! Bro, I... Ah, oh, the thumbstick! The thumbstick. It's not the game's fault, it's the emulation's fault. Oh! What? Oh, what the hell? Good. Good. That's a fun fact, Junker Queen was added in the last year. Oh, she's been in the lore since... Oh, interesting. Well, I guess if that makes sense, because they probably mentioned her with uh, Junkrat and Roadhog, right? Like, the fact that she banished them. I'm sure it came up that, like, they had been banished and, like, oh, the queen of this land had banished her or whatever, you know? What the f Hit him! Good. Good. Gotta go. I did not know that was a bottomless pit. All right. That's good to know. I was just trying to grab the ammo. That was right next to the bottomless pit. Good, uh, good gaming, good gaming. Yum, yum. All right, come on. Come on. Tiny, I believe in you this time. Let's do it. I swear, watch me not get to the next level in this, this stream just because of this spider fight. Good job hitting your own spiders. You, may, you might want to work on that. I want to work on that right there. Alright, there we go. Hello! Alright, I need ammo now. How you doing? How you doing? Nope, I need ammo. And I need to not run off the edge if possible. Hi. Can I grab the ammo? That is, for some reason, right on the edge of the map. Hey, how you doing? All right, one more. No? All right. There we go. Six years ago. Oh, wow, okay. They added... Junker Town. Oh, they added the map. Okay. You can listen to her voice. Oh, and it's her voice. So they brought back the same voice actress for uh, when they added her as a character. That's cool. I like that. Go. 
Come on, is that it? Nope, that's not it. All right, cool. But she was, oh, but she was maybe even mentioned before that. Okay, interesting, cool. See, that's kind of cool if it's like they're continuously like updating the lore like that and like at least at least they're keeping it consistent across the games too it's not like it was a complete like restart of the lore like that's cool because like i know we mentioned this on previous streams netto but it seems like overwatch has some really interesting lore that you want to explore more um throughout the game you know what i mean like that's cool don't mind me i'm just gonna grab some ammo now i already got Four hits in on this thing, so I would like. Oh my goodness! I would like, hopefully, for it to be five hits total, and that's all I need. Right? All right. Go. There we go. You're done. What? Are you done? Or do I just get to beat you up regularly? Oh, now you're regular size? Good. How do I fight you? Where are you? There you are. Goodbye. You're done. Hey, Mercury, good to see you live in chat. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've been having a good week. Where's Banana? Oh, Banana. Does and the news recently are not great about it because it seems the higher ups on Blizzard are not interested in the story part of the game. See, that's, well, of course they're not. They're interested in, like, probably what, make, making more money off the game, right? And the microtransactions, so that's probably what they're most interested in. But it's, like, I'm sure the original team, right? Because, like, you look at, like, I've seen, like, some of the older, like, promotional material and stuff. You look at that stuff and it's, like, it seems really cool the fact that they have all this lore they want to build out. Like, that would have been the only interested why you just woke up. Nice. Hope you had a good rest. Um, the lore would have been, like, the main reason why I would have even been interested in the first place about checking out the game, you know? Because that kind of gameplay doesn't necessarily appeal to me, but, like, the characters and, like, the cutscenes and lore and stuff seem really cool, but... But, yeah, most of the original team left, so it's like they don't share the same vision. That's so annoying, you know? That really sucks. And I'm sure for the people who are still on the project, right, they're probably bummed out because it's like, well... You know, like... There are, like, I'm sure, like, at least some of the original team still there. Yes, the characters. I play Overwatch for the plot. And, you know, like, those people are probably frustrated because they probably want to keep the lore going on. And, like, everybody else, like, the higher-ups are just like, nope. That sucks. All right. I don't think, okay. At night, go to the area with a lot of houses. The area with lots of houses. I don't remember that area. But I, th I think I know which one it's talking about. I think it's this one. That's not lots of houses, though. Oh, well, let's see. Let me give it a shot. That's the only other banana I can get with Langi. The race I can't do yet, because I need an ability for his, and then we're going to try the boss, and then move on to the next level. Oh, Pinata. <laughs> Never change, Pinata. You probably said that, but you think you should watch some of the cinematics? Yeah, okay, I guess... Well, listen, I've been... <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to keep that joke going. I can only do so much. Um, I thought I did this, maybe I didn't. But, so, I, because I guess, is Overwatch one of those games where you can, like, watch the cinematics and not need to play the game? You know, like, could I enjoy the story, like, separately from the gameplay? It sounds like maybe. You lost hope in Overwatch when 2 is announced. I guess, why Pinata? Because they made a brand new, like, a sequel to it? And I guess I could see the mentality, maybe. Oh, in here, yeah. The cinematics are released on YouTube. Gotcha. Aha! Very nice. Now I got all of Linky's abilities. All right. So what's going on here? What's this about? Oh no! Not the Batman! 
Hoppla! I can shoot them, I guess. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't notice those diddy guys. Ah! Hey. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll have to watch the cinematics at some point. Because, like, the animation style seems really good for some of those cutscenes. From what I've seen, I've seen, like, a couple. Um, and, yeah, it seems like really interesting lore. Like, I would love for, like, Activision or Blizzard to do, like, spin-off games. Kind of like, you know how, like, League of Legends is doing that right now? Like, League of Legends is doing a ton of spin-off games, like, in that same world, but they're, you know, they're not the same gameplay style as League of Legends. It's, like, I think they have, like, a 3D platformer. They're doing the fighting game, right? Like, do stuff like that with Overwatch. Like, I would play a 3D platformer in, like, the Overwatch universe. I would really like that, because some of those characters seem super cool. Give me a 3D platformer. I don't know if this makes sense in terms of the lore, but I don't care. Give me a 3D platformer with the big gorilla dude. I forget the big gorilla dude's name. I want to play as him in a 3D platformer. That would be sick. All right. I think that's everything I can do for now. Besides the rabbit race, I can't do that. I don't have the ability. And then I got to do the boss. My question is, do I have everything else? Yeah. I have the banana fairies and I have the crown. All right. Everything else should be good then. Um, the one question is, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> how did I get in here, first of all? Wasn't it through like a little... Maybe there? Oh, I think that's it. Winston, yes, thank you. Yeah, give me a 3D platformer with Winston. Make it like, make it like Splatoon, where it's like a 3D platformer but with shooter elements as Winston. I'd be down. I'd buy that. I would buy that. All right. Um, I, there was a boss gate over by, I think, Snide's Hut? Which I can't actually get to right now. And I don't know where any other bosses are, so I'm just going to do that. It's probably going to be a chunky boss, if I had to guess. So I think i got to switch to daytime. Well, the Ghost Runner game's about Ninja doing parkour. That's basically Kenji. Oh, Ghost Runner. Did they come out with a sequel to that? Was that last year? Is it the same game I'm thinking of? I've heard good things about Ghost Runner. And that's basically Genji. Gotcha. Well, is Strider basically Genji? So I still, I still got to play the Strider 2014 remake. I still haven't played that. Even though I own it on Steam. But I hear good things about that. And the original. You think so? You played the first one in a few hours. Cool, okay. Oh, so it seems sounds like it's pretty short. But honestly, I'm, I'm all for short games these days. So maybe we'll have to give Ghost Runner a shot. Strider for 2014 is pretty good. I've heard decent things. I also just really like Strider from uh, MVC3 and uh, Project Cross Zone. I just think he's super cool, so I kind of want to give him a shot. All right. Time to donate bananas. Let's do this boss, and then we'll head on to the next area. If there is an epilepsy warning for this boss, I will make sure to try to put it in chat. Because so far, like, half the bosses have kind of been like that. I need to put 300. All right. Donate your bananas. Oh, you only played it for a few hours, but you don't know how long the game is. I mean, I feel like I've heard the game itself is pretty short. So, like, I kind of believed you for a second. You know, like, even if it is only a few hours, like, to be honest, that's not really a bad thing in my personal opinion. But obviously some people might say otherwise. And like, I mean, like if you if you put value into the amount of time spent in the game, like that's fine. That is to a totally valid take to have. For me, I've kind of taken that less and less over time. It really depends. For me, it's like when I want to take a game off my backlog, that I usually equate to amount of time spent. But when it comes to how much money I pay for a game, I kind of used to, but it really, I mean, I guess it varies from game to game, to be honest. Not really anymore, but I guess it depends on the game. If it's short, you'll probably go back to it. Nice, okay. I feel like I've heard it's short. Don't quote me on that, but I feel like I've heard Ghost Runner. At least the first one's supposed to be pretty short. All right, boss time. Okay. 
It's probably going to be chunky. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good. Already starting off strong. What is it with all these bosses and me needing, like, epilepsy warnings here? This is wild. All right. I think the last boss I did was the Jack in the Box one, right? That was a while ago, and that boss also sucked. Wait. Is this going to be a repeat of the second boss? <laughs> it's okay, Chunky. <laughs> uh, Chunky's such a... He's a gentle giant. He's such a scaredy cat. Whoa. Hold on. Didn't I already do this boss before? Poor Chunky. Wasn't this the second world's boss? Or am I just mixing it up? At the very least, it was similar. This is eerily familiar. I think this might be a boss repeat, to be honest. Whoa! Wasn't ready for the shockwave. Hey, this might just be a harder version of the boss from World 2. Okay. Right? Because, yeah, I was playing as Diddy and I was throwing these barrels and avoiding fireballs. It really... It might just be the same boss. But just a harder version? Whoa! I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that, to be honest. Go ahead. I think it might just be a harder version of that boss. So I wonder if the other bosses are going to repeat too. In which case, there will be other epilepsy warnings. To be fair, though, I remember this being the boss I disliked the least. He's like, no, no, no. I'm not as easy this time. What are you doing? Whoa. Where are you going, bro? Oh, what now? What am I doing? Get in the barrel. Oh, I get to beat him up. Oh, yeah. Boom. Okay, at least the boss is a hell of a lot different than it was. Um... Okay, it's definitely different than it was last time. But I'm pretty sure it was the same exact fight setup. But, yeah, obviously it's... It's a lot different playing as Chunky. Because this whole segment is especially new. Ooh, that rumble on gamepad is going crazy here. That makes it pretty fun, actually. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is definitely more fun than the last iteration of this boss I did, too. Beat him up, Chunky! No, don't fall off, Chunky. Chunky, don't fall off. There we go. That actually got kind of close. I almost fell off. Ah! Oh, I see. It's also sinking slowly into the lava. Crap, that's not good. When do I finish the... Hold up. Whoa! Crap. What? Wait. So I did something wrong. So there was something I'm supposed to do. Oh! Did I have to do the big monkey slap? Also, did you decide when the... Oh yeah, Guilty Gear's probably gonna be Saturday? At least that's my thinking right now. My friends mentioned they might wanna do something Friday and if I'm feeling good enough on Friday night, then I'll probably hang out with them. Um, so mo it'll be 
uh, Friday at this point. Let's plan on Friday. Oh, sorry, Saturday. Let's plan on Saturday. Okay, you know what? I'm wondering if I'm supposed to do the big monkey slap instead of just punching the dragon, because clearly the punching didn't do anything. Actually, hold on, give me a second real quick. I'm supposed to uh, technically be checking for work. We had a production release like just before stream tonight. Just wanna make sure everything's good. Nope, it was successful. Hello, okay. I don't know why my audio reconnected there. Whoa! Damn it. Forgot about that phase. Yep, that'll be the plan. It'll be Saturday for Guilty Gear. Alright. Do your big shockwave. Boom! Yeah, it's like I always gotta pay attention after these production code releases for work, because then it's like if stuff comes up during testing, you know, you never know. And they gotta call me and be like, yo. Your code's not working. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's been thoroughly tested. You're just doing it wrong. No, it's never happened. Before. Always got to be available in case something comes up. That has happened before. If any of you were watching back during the uh, my 2022 Game Awards reaction, you knew about it then. All right. Can I, like... No, I have no idea how you avoid that. No idea how you avoid that. Just to finish the Overwatch Cinematic Talks. There's a lot of reaction videos, people who don't play the game watch. Like, oh, really? Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, because, yeah, it's like, if you can enjoy it outside of the gameplay, then, like, yeah, I could see that being interesting. All right, so I'm kind of on a time limit now. Because this is slowly sinking. I think I'm just going to have to shove him into the lava again with my big form. That's my guess instead of just slapping it. Let me try it though. If I do this, throw the barrel, get big, and now do the big old chunky slap, right? I, I don't know. That didn't do, hold on. Oh, first of all, I gotta plug this in. That didn't do anything. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Am I supposed to pick him up and throw him, maybe? But then again, I don't remember how to pick up and throw. Hold on. I'm not. I'm gonna look this up real quick because it's not clear to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why the song was called Dogadon Rematch because yes, it is a rematch against the same boss is the second and fifth boss. But at least they change it so that it's different. Oh, it's the audio about to cut out again. good now yeah we're good all right but no that's cool that people react to those cinematics regardless of uh regardless if they play the game or not giant chunky will need to use a series of regular punches or primate punches in order to defeat so no i just have to do it within the amount of time but i was doing plenty so maybe I, I'm thinking the primate punches are the really, the big punches I was doing. Maybe if I try to do those, it just says with enough time, I should be able to take them out with enough of those punches. So let me try it again, but it wasn't. It what didn't really seem to do much before, so I don't know. 
Ow, 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 ow. So I don't really know what I was doing wrong, but let's let's see if this will work. I don't know, man. That looked good. Oh, there we go. All right, we got him. Now stay dead this time, thank you. Shout out to the seven concurrent viewers. Thanks for being here. I'm on fire. <laughs> Goodbye. Is he just trying to flip off Chunky? Nah, give me that key. I get a Donkey Kong. I love Chunky. Chunky's great. Chunky's my favorite. I'm sorry. Like, Donkey's classic. Diddy's also classic. Lanky's pretty funny. Tiny's great. Chunky's just the best, though. They're all good. None of them are bad. None of them are Kitty Kong. <laughs> I should say. Yeah, no, 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 wor no worries at all, Mercury. No worries at all. I appreciate you being here and just watching. Yeah. And of course, and I know you said you don't play play games really much anymore, so. No worries at all. I just appreciate you watching and being here. Definitely prioritize waking up and conserving your energy, you know? Because, yeah, trust me, I'm the same way. When I wake up like that, I just can't do much of anything. All right, so literally the only thing I'm missing now is that one banana against the rabbit, which, as far as I'm aware, I can't do anything about right now. So, I think it's time to start the next level. Just enjoying Isakio? I don't know what that is. While being relaxed? Nice. That's the way to do it. You don't play games anymore, as you said, you only care. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And like, yeah, exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. I appreciate you chilling here nonetheless. Oh, what Binding of Isaac? Nice. Very nice. Hmm. You know what? Do I have easy access to a character barrel here? I'm going to guess no. But it would be really nice, considering, uh... Got that over there. Night. Okay. Oh, there's a banana in there. Man, I really want that now. All right, let me do this. If I jump down here, hopefully I won't get hurt. Good. But even the music industry relies a lot on profit. Yeah, I mean, a lot of industries, when they grow that big, rely on profit. You know, it just kind of happens, unfortunately. All right, let me switch to Diddy real quick and grab that banana while I can see it. It probably falls asleep in some time. Got to get up early tomorrow. Oh, nice, Neto. Well, hopefully it's not like an annoying reason to get up early, but yeah, no worries at all. K-pop music industry relies so heavily on looks instead of making a song with unique rhythm. Gotcha. I see where you're... Okay. Yeah, it's like you're kind of missing the whole heart and soul at that point. I mean, a lot of these big industries, the movie industry, gaming industry, there are good examples of stuff that still has like heart and soul and clearly passion put into it. And my goodness, I am dying. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, there's also a lot of examples, like in your case, you're describing Mercury, where it's just like, you're only in it for the money. It's all about the money and the fame. That's why I like supporting indie stuff when I can. Okay, let me try something. Cause even if, even if I can't get over there as Diddy, I can shoot the switch. Is it time? It is not. All right. So if it's not timed, then maybe I'm fine. Crap. Ah! And then if I switch to somebody else, go back up to grab the banana. That should do it. Oh, let's go to the gym. Nice. You go on Friday, but it will open on this Friday. Gotcha. So you go early. That's a smart move. Right? To go early, that way you beat the crowd. Well, at least hopefully some of the crowd. Or to start your day, you know? Exercising is a good way to start the day. Kind of get yourself ready for it. 
More power to you, Neto. I could totally not do that, but <laughs> I don't have the energy for it, but I'm sure if you get used to it. That's the problem. Your K-pop idols always get the worst treatment. Oh, really? Not only from the netizens of people who criticize it for the looks because of that results in mental health. Yeah, no, exactly. That's just, that's not, oh, what the hell? No, it has to, oh, what, that is a... So it just immediately closes up. All right, so I just can't do that. That's good to know. Um, all right. So I need to use Diddy. See, that pile of dirt's interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything significant. Well, that's annoying. But yeah, no, that's just like, that sounds like such a toxic environment to be in, you know? Just the whole idol industry, I've kind of heard similar stories. Mercury about stuff like that. To be honest, I don't know about you guys, but I would never want like that kind of level of fame. That would just be too much pressure and just too much to live up to. And then other people just put responsibilities on you and hold you in really high expectations. And it's like, bro, come on. Hmm? Let me live my life. Thing is, you actually don't like to go, but you need to do some exercise. I mean, hey, more power to you for going. I'm in the same boat as you, but I'm just, I'm not doing anything about it at the moment. So more power to you, Neto. It says DK on it. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything. It might just be the level marker. So here's the thing. It's not like I can like, you know, go anywhere as Diddy. I don't even have like a double jump as Diddy. I, I'm not gonna be able to make that. There's no way I can do that. But I clearly need to. Yeah, I gotta get back on that exercise grind. Just being sick so lately, it's been tough. Just sad thinking about it. You used to enjoy some K-pop songs. Realize a lot of songs are far from previous songs. Yeah, and that doesn't help either. Kind of just sounds so much less unique. Totally see what you're saying there, Neto. Oh, sorry, Mercury. And also Neto for the exercise thing. You actually played a lot of sports. Nice, but it's hard to do in this. Con in a consistent way. Yeah, when you get older, it's, it's tough to do that too. For sure. So you just go to the gym. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a good way to consistently stay in shape, you know? I literally don't know how I could get over there. How did I hit that? Did you see that curve? <laughs> did you see that curve? On that peanut? That was wild. I literally don't know how I can get over there. Maybe there's an ability I have to unlock with Diddy or something. I guess I do have... Oh, that was actually kind of close. That was honestly kind of close. Maybe I can just barely reach it. Let me try to do that without hitting the switch first. All right. The camera would like to cooperate, that is. Oh, man. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. There must be some other ability I can lock as Diddy. Or the game just sucks, either one of those. Um, <laughs> or, and I know what you're thinking, Neto, it's a skill issue. Don't worry, I'm ahead of you there. All right, let me go bring the key to the dude. So Mr. Mongo here, I forget what his name is. The dude trapped in the cage, and then hopefully that should unlock the way to the next level. I'll just have to remember that Banana was there as a... Uh, as Diddy, I needed to grab that. Yay! Oh, K Lumsy, right. I think that was his name, K Lumsy. Oh. Mm. Oh? Oh? Two things. Interesting. When he walks the very ground, shakes in the gym, you only need the guy who opens the place. True. Yeah, you don't have to like rely on teammates or anything. You just, guy opens the place, you got all the equipment, you're good to go. That's why you stay away from it. Asian pop, Chinese, gotcha. So where does this go? Oh. Okay, this must be the creepy castle level, which I don't want to do yet. Too soon for that. Good to know that's where it is. 
I just gotta go to that big cannon. Woo! Glad you're aware of the issue. <laughs> the skill issue. Nah, I just, there's, there's probably some ability I'm missing as Diddy to, maybe it's a similar ability. Honestly, like, it's, it's probably a similar ability to Dixie, maybe? It's like a, well, sorry, Tiny. Well, Dixie and the country game. Because I'm, I'm just trying to think of how I would do that, you know? I don't know. I, gotta, I guess I got to figure it out. But I'm not in a rush to figure it out now. I'll wait till later. I got to figure out how to get to the next level now. Right, so that's level two. Actually, I think it is up here. Hmm. Yeah, this is it. All right. Hold up. Okay, I need Chunky for this. They rely too heavily on trends, status quo, and technology. I mean, relying on technology can be, can be cool, but I totally see what you mean about the status quo and the trends. Making unique... Yeah. Yeah. can totally see that, uh, Mercury. All right, Chunky. Help me, bro. Rock, go bye-bye. Oh, there's another rock, too. Oh, that's a Chunky rock. Oh! I gotta figure out what that X is for over there. That's for something. All right. Well, this is Chunky, so let me do it now. Rock out that triangle, Chunky. Oh, that was loud. Found right. another banana. Oh, it's literally just a, a grab me golden banana. All right. Banana. That was easy. All right. Ooh. All right, was the other? Okay, first of all, let me see what's over here. Because I see the level entrance. The next one I want to go to is right there. Um, however, that is, is that a trombone? Okay, yeah, so that's lanky. Let me do that before I forget. While I can, I'm remembering. I also got to remember, I think I'm missing one banana fairy. In the Kong Isles. So I already got one, and then I think there's still both K rule challenges I haven't done somewhere. Chinese Cantonese songs copied from Western Japanese musicians. Oh, okay. Worse is when they came with their own songs, more like awful ballads. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good to know, Mercury. I never would have known. <laughs> Wanna cranky? Oh, Cranky's Barrels. What? Oh, there we go. All right. Cool. All right. Now I can go do that other one. Give me that jetpack. So, yes, yeah, some backtracking, but to be honest, compared to something like Banjo Tooie, it's a lot less than in Banjo Tooie, so I appreciate that. The backtracking in that game just killed me. That and the idea of having to remember all the different moves. There were so many moves that Banjo-Kazooie could do on their own and together. Like, the separating them was an interesting idea, but I just, in execution, it was just, I found it way too hard to remember how to do all those moves. Where at least this game, you know, they're split up between five different characters, and between each characters, like, the inputs are relatively the same, so it makes it easier to remember. This is why I don't talk about them, because it only brings back a lot of... Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, definitely no need to overdo it if it, yeah, it kind of makes you... brings you back bad memories, Mercury, but... No need to do that. Ah, going for a dunk. All right. What the hell was that? You see that camera? Yeah. All right. Let's switch back. Let me see how I get to this next level now. It starts over here. Let me see how I actually get in. Oh, man. It's right up there. How? See, okay. 
no, there's got to be something with these. There has to be something with these piles of dirt because I keep seeing these around. There has to be something else with these. Because, yeah, there's... That's the level entrance. It looks like in order to get there, I gotta, like, plant something? It's just like an Ocarina of Time magic bean situation, but I'm trying to think where would I get... Where would I get something to grow that? You know? This entrance just leads me back to the second level entrance. Right if I keep... Yeah, it's literally right up here. So that's not gonna help. That's got to be something, some kind of item or ability that I'm missing to get up there. Because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be able to get to the stage before Creepy Castle. So it's easy. Oh, I need to go back in time. Oh, right. All oh, right. That is how it worked in a Ocarina, wasn't it? Ow. <laughs> right, because you plant it as a young Link and then you go forward in time and it grows as adult Link. Right? Is that how it worked in that game? I feel like it did. Whereas in Majora's Mask, they're like, nah, it just grows immediately. It's like, okay, good. <laughs> I don't care that it's less realistic. It's more streamlined. All right. That has to be it. The only thing I could think of about growing stuff is that Tiny had that bean in Fungi Forest, but the, that didn't give her a ability. What am I missing? What am I missing? I hate that I have to use a guide so much. I've been having to use a guide more for this game than freaking Final Fantasy VII, the OG. I just need young DK. Oh, I gotta go back in time to arcade Donkey Kong when Cranky was his age. And then that's how I gotta do it. Nothing like the oldest looks suspicious, I know. I just hate that I have to look up a guide for this. I didn't think of that method. Okay, okay. That's a little out of the way and I don't like it, but I guess that's, okay. Okay. I mean, I guess the island isn't that far from the level entrance. So what that just told me to do, what that guy just told me to do was remember that Diddy barrel we just got from earlier? The game wants me to use that Diddy Barrel to use Diddy's jetpack to then fly into the entrance. Which is like, I get. What's probably gonna happen is there's gonna be some ability that I unlock in Crystal Caves or one of the later levels that unlocks a way to live. There's gotta be something. It's gotta be like I plant some magic beans or some shit. Yeah, I guess it wasn't that far. It's still like kind of a little out of the way. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't have thought of to do that on my own, to be completely honest. But it works. Yeah, this looks like Crystal Cave. Oh, that's a chunky thing, no doubt. Well, actually, let me check. Let me try giving the old ice a nice slap. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. Oh, cool. Mikey's blueprint. What is that? Oh, it's a DK barrel. All right. There's a couple things I can do back here. That's good. Let me grab a Lanky and DK. Oh, let me break that while I'm out of two. Who's that? Oh, that's what I need the boulder for, for sure. There's a lot of hidden stuff in here. Just imagine trying to 100% the game and having to wait for Nintendo Power Month Magazine to hope the game... Yeah, I mean, back in the day, trying to 100% this game would be rough. I mean, like, at least from my perspective, I feel like most of it is doable. 
but there are a few things here and there that are definitely tricky. I wonder, are these boulders? No. There's got to be some way to bring... There's got to be some way to cross that lava. Like, ice platforms or something is what I'm thinking. Slap in the ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Wait. You gotta let the guy respawn. That was a lanky blueprint, right? Damn. Oh, well. Let me... If I exit and re-enter, I should respawn. There we go. Let's try this. Not fall off again. I have to redo that whole segment. Okay. Give me big dude. Lanky's just happy to be here. There you are. All right. You gonna swear at me? No? Some of the enemy noises in this game are so funny. I love when you hear those guys from a distance and it just sounds like they're saying shit over and over again. Like, I love that. <laughs> Rare knew what they were doing. All right. There's a DK barrel in there. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. Shit, rock, yeah. Hey, they bring Sonic Heroes back. Who knows? Maybe they'll do something with that. Oh. Right, okay. They want me to use Invincible DDK to cross the lava. Gotcha. Don't. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, if they, they gotta bring back that that voice line if they're gonna remaster or remake Sonic Heroes. They gotta do it. You're, oh, you remember you played Sonic Heroes in that? Do you remember what you thought of it at the time? For me, it's just the, the controls are too slippery, especially the special stages. Sonic Heroes has some of the worst special stages out of any game just because of the controls. Like, if they bring back that game, they really got to fix the controls, man. Those were rough. But otherwise, like, I found the structure of the game decently fun. Like, even some of the Team Chaotix missions I just found, like, I mean, some of them were long. They were, like, longer versions of most missions found in Shadow the Hedgehog. But like, oh, didn't mean to throw that. But like, I don't know. I found it at least different and interesting. But the, some of the, especially some of the later missions got really long. Team Rose was just too easy. Team Dark was fun. Some of the levels were pretty hard, but Team Dark was good. Especially Omega. Omega was a great addition to that game. Worthless consumer models. You liked it, but you didn't finish. You got stuck at one part and decided to go back at some point. At the time, it never did. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, some of those levels were definitely tricky. Especially, like, I'm thinking, like, Final Fortress. Uh, an egg fleet near the end. Those were rough. All right. Let's look at the clues here. Float to the top of the ice castle for a rematch with the... Oh, no! Not the sliding beetle. <laughs> no. Why did you bring it back? Damn it. But I was done. Junkie will have a smashing time with the ice walls. You don't say. Damn it, Wrinkly. Why'd you have to bring up the stupid sliding beetle? I hate that thing. The burning passion. <laughs> of course. All right. Let me look at these other clues. Match the pictures with DK in his cabin near can... Why is Candy going near his cabin? Um, Tiny will need the monkey. The monkey port? I don't know what that is. What is the monkey port? Is that an ability she gets? All right. Um, oh, it's a Diddy Barrel. Check that out. But yeah, Sonic Heroes, I feel like... For me, at least, there's nothing super remarkable about Sonic Heroes, to be honest. I mean, they brought back the Chaotix, which was awesome. They brought an Omega, which was cool. Um, the most remarkable thing about Sonic Heroes to me was the final boss, which I, I mean, the game, I guess the game's 20 years, actually. 
The game just passed its 20th anniversary, I think, recently. Um, but I guess just to be to be fair, I won't uh, spoil anything. But the final boss is probably the most remarkable thing about that game for me. If Diddy can fly through the star, the ways will, which will be revealed. Fly through the star, okay. What years are the best and worst for music for me? For me? Uh, honestly, Mercury, I have a tough time like thinking of actual years. Um, in terms of eras, like j like eras, it really depends. I mean, I like a lot of like 70s, 80s rock, but I also like stuff like Panic at the Disco that's more recent, or like the punk era of like Green Day and Pearl Jam and stuff like that, you know? I don't know, It's I, I have a tough time with... Another banana, oh, thank you, freebie. I have a tough time like thinking of music and like specific years that music came out. Games is another story just because I'm a lot I'm paying a lot more attention to when games come out. It's Sonic, just say it. What do you mean, Neto? You trying to tell me that Sonic's unremarkable? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Cause Sonic Heroes isn't just Sonic. It's like Sonic Heroes is it stands out above the other games because of the whole team mechanic. Like it's a it's an interesting, neat idea. You know, I feel like they could have executed it better. Holy smoke, so sounds Rankly makes. Oh, the, ah, uh, one more time then. They gave you anxiety, I was, okay. I could see it, it's a little spooky. Poor Wrinkly. Didn't she, cause she was alive in DKC2. Didn't she die in like DKC3 or like right before? <laughs> I think I remember her being a ghost in Donkey Kong Country 3. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Show me the bananas, dude. I've got like more than double the bananas you need, so get out of here. I think the lore is in a 20 Sonic game is that important to not spoil. Oh, you're talking about the lore. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, final spoiler warning for Sonic Heroes is I, I just like to be careful more than anything. All right, well, like the fact that they brought Metal Sonic into the fold, I think was like the coolest idea they could have done. And I would love for them to do something similar for Sonic Movie 3, but will they do it? Probably not. Maybe 4. But like, I think that was a cool idea to bring them in, to bring him into the fold and make him like the main villain of that game. Like that was cool. Okay, yeah, I thought she was a ghost of DKC3. All right, K Rill, why are you marching around like a dingus? Who's that? Nothing can stop me now. Oh, that's um the fire dragon? I already defeated this thing twice, bro. There you are. I trust the Kongs have been dealt with. Oh, it was awful, Master. Those horrible Kongs threw nasty barrels at all. Oh, that's still the Kong, uh, Doragon talking? Knocked me into the lava. Then one of them got really big and punched me in the face. Look at my poor old nose. Kill him. Kill him. No way, it's Metal Sonic, what a surprise. Well, Neto, if you haven't played the game, you wouldn't know. That's what I'm saying. It's like you would assume it's Eggman if you have, if you haven't played the game, you know? that That's the difference. If you see the cutscene that has the twist, like then yeah, that's one thing. It also was interesting for me, because now that I'm thinking about this, and I'm about to take a quick break in a few minutes for uh, Crap some Teen stuff. Thinking about it, because I didn't grow up with the Genesis games, and I never played like the multiplayer in Adventure 2 or unlocked Metal Sonic in Adventure 1. Sonic Heroes was my first exposure to Metal Sonic, like growing up. So I remember like playing that game and like beating, what is it, the, the Egg Albatross fight after a bullet station, right after the fourth level. And like, yeah, you see like me this metallic looking Sonic figure. I was like, what the hell is this? I had no idea. As someone who didn't play the Genesis, I had no idea who Metal Sonic was. I was like, why is there a robot Sonic that can like shape shift and shit? And then it wasn't only until later that I found out that was Neo Metal Sonic instead of just regular Metal Sonic. And then it goes into the whole thing. But like, so like that was cool. Right, that was cool for me personally. And I actually, so story time's almost over. I, didn't beat Sonic Heroes when I was that young, right? Because when Sonic Heroes came out, I was, what, seven? I think I didn't beat it and do the final story until much later. And I think that was like after I'd played games like Sonic CD with Metal Sonic in it. 
So then when I went back and finally played it, I'm like, oh, now it makes more sense to me what this character is. Is there a Sonic game you wish never existed? Um, yes, yeah, Sonic Battle. With that, I'm going to take a few minutes of a break. And I'll be back in a bit so you can enjoy. Oh, mainline games. Um, is, is Secret Rings considered a mainline game? If it's not considered a mainline game, then Sonic 06. That's going to be blunt about it. That's my answer. Sonic would be in a much better spot if that game did not exist. Well, then again, maybe some of the later games wouldn't exist. It's hard to say. If I could just remove one game from the main timeline and not have it affect the other games, yeah, it'd be Sonic 06. You can be wrong about Sonic's awesome, but you don't think that knowing that it is an issue for Sonic Heroes. You don't think that knowing that is an issue for Sonic Heroes. I'm not sorry. I'm not saying it's an issue. What do you mean about like doing the spoiler warning? Because like I just do that. I just do that just to be safe. Because I mean that is the plot twist of the game. So just to be safe, you go for forces. Good. Mmm. No, you know forces. Forces is also a good answer. You know what? That's a good point, because forces, like, you literally remove that and nothing happens. That's the thing with forces. It's such a nothing game that you remove that and nothing of value is lost. Whereas Sonic 06, I mean, sure, a lot of that game's broken and it's just memeable, but at least it's memeable. Sonic Forces isn't, I mean, I guess it is kind of memeable, but it's just so bland. Forces has the OCs, the most important one. <laughs> and some fans' minds, yeah. I don't... That's a good point, though. Secret Rings, if we're counting that, is not a spinoff, but I feel like that might be a spinoff. Honestly, I might change my answer to Forces. That's honestly a good answer, Peñata. That's honestly a good answer. Especially because, like, I still get some enjoyment out of Heroes, and, like, somewhat out of Forces, but... I was also hyped for Forces because it's like, oh my god, they're bringing back Chaos, and then they did jack shit with them. So honestly, Forces, I'd probably I'd probably cut Forces. Not gonna lie, I forgot about Forces again. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, Sonic 06 is not forgettable, for the wrong reasons, but it's not forgettable. Forces is forgettable. So honestly, I kind of forgot about it too. That's probably the right answer. I feel like that might just be, like, the correct answer, besides Sonic Battle. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna go grab a snack and some tea. Feel free to join me later and do the same now if you want. And uh, see you all in a few. It's okay. You can say, you can tell me how much you hate my opinion on Sonic Battle while I'm gone. Deal with it. Oh, no worries, Mercury. Thanks for being here. Enjoy your breakfast and enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for chilling with us. See ya.
What's up? Mm. Neto's saying it'd probably be better to, for Sonic 06 to be forgotten. Um, I mean, better is subjective. I mean, I will say in terms of the overall health of the franchise, to be honest, like, you're probably right. But here's a hot take. I think there are a lot more redeemable moments of Sonic 06 than Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces is just so bland. It's so nothing. It had a really interesting premise and did not capitalize on it in the slightest. That's the issue with Forces. Sonic 06 had a lot of potential and it has its moments, but it also has a lot of bad moments. So it's like, I don't know. At least Sonic 06 to me is so much more of an interesting game, you know, for better and for worse, which I think is makes it more memorable. And I think honestly, I prefer Sonic 06 to Sonic Forces, and maybe that's considered a hot take, but I do prefer it. <laughs> kind of like, yeah, Sonic 06 is so bad, it's good. Yeah, certain moments, but certain moments are legitimately pretty fun. Like, certain, certain moments are legitimately pretty good. Posted one of... Oh, one of the Overwatch Cinematics on Discord. Cool, oh, thank you, Neto. I'll have to check that out, yeah, on Discord you said? Cool. All right, need Chunky for that. Is there not a character barrel here? I guess not. So this is, I believe it's, yeah, Crystal Caves. All right. That's what this one's called. We'll see how far I can get. I'm not, obviously not going to beat it tonight, but we'll get a good start on it. Oh, yeah, thank you, Ned. I'll have to check that out. I see. Give me them lanky bananas. Yeah, I'll have to watch through them, because, like, I mean, the animation quality, it literally looks like Pixar-level quality, you know what I mean? It looks so good. So I would definitely be interested in checking those out at some point. You know, just, like, binging those on YouTube. I feel like they could make that, like, a TV show, you know? Like, have they even considered making an Overwatch TV show? I feel like that's just, like, a no-brainer. You keep your headcanon, and it was originally going to be the Sonic from Boom, instead of the OC for the Whip. I've seen that tossed around. However, I think they made the right choice in not doing that. Um, I mean, especially because Boom as a sub-series just failed. Um, the TV show was honestly fun, but like the game obviously didn't end up being great. 
Um, but boom, flop. Yeah, although honestly, Sonic Fire and Ice, I will say, is actually a pretty decent game on 3DS. It's the sequel. Shadow Crystal's okay, it's just the exploration is rough on the game. And Rise of Lyric, I can't say because I've never played it, but I've heard it's bad. So, there is that. Um, but yeah, no, I they, they definitely, I mean, I definitely think they made the right choice in terms of making the OC, like, that was a smart idea. And they just didn't fu fully capitalize on it. No idea, actually, but a lot of people say that about Blizzard. They could do, yeah, because I was going to say, does Blizzard do any other stuff? I know there was supposed to be a Crash Bandicoot cartoon back in the day, and I think it was canceled, I remember hearing about. Um, I feel like there's just so much they could do more with their properties. You know? What am I supposed to do here again? Oh, maybe this is a chunky ability I don't have yet. That's got to be a new chunky ability. Because that platform wasn't doing anything there. All right. See, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm... Right, because with Fungi Forest, I mentioned this last stream, but I started kind of switching how I'm going to start. What the hell? Oh, no, it's big Viking. Um, I kind of mentioned how I'm going to start instead of, like, trying to play through the level one at a time with each Kong and collect everything. Because sometimes the Kongs depend on each other for progression. Um, how now I'm just going to kind of keep switching between the Kongs a lot. But, like, as a result... I am noticing more backtracking, but it's also like very short backtracking. It's like, oh, I unlocked this one area because of Chunky and now I have to walk two feet to use Donkey Kong. You know what I mean? Like it's still compared to the stuff you have to do in Banjo-Tooie, I find this way less cumbersome. It's a bit annoying, so don't get me wrong, but it's not, it doesn't feel as bad to me as something like Banjo-Tooie. Also, they have a main art style, but they like to experience other ones. What, just in terms of Activision Blizzard? Or, sorry, Blizzard in general? Or the cinematics, you're saying? I mean, I can see either way, to be honest. But I guess, except, uh, except, like, maybe, like, Call of Duty. <laughs> right, but everything else I could see kind of being related. Um, all right. I wonder if that big dude was specific to Chunky. Oh, the Overwatch team in this case? Gotcha. Yeah, so that's cool that they like to experiment with different art styles a list a little bit. Is there anything like, uh, I don't know if you've seen like Star Wars Visions at all, like those shorts they've had on Disney Plus? I think they had a second batch of those not that long ago, too. Like, is it anything like that? Okay, no. Okay, Big Dude's not exclusive to Chunky. It's good to know. Or not as significant as those. Oh. I'm gonna go, hold on, I'm gonna go back a second. I did notice there was something over here. Oh yeah, it's a Diddy Balloon. All right. Not on that level, okay. Yeah, cause I mean, that was pretty intense. Oh no! Oh, I see, that's the star they want me to fly through as Diddy. Okay. There's a bunch of Donkey Kong bananas. Ooh, okay. But I definitely want to explore around here as Donkey and Diddy. Yeah, Star Wars Visions was okay. It was a neat idea. I liked some of the episodes, but some of them I just really did not like at all. Um... I don't even think I fully finished the first batch of episodes, to be honest. I don't know if I should even call it a season, considering it's so different, but, like, from what I remember, I think I watched maybe the first four? The one with the samurai was really cool. That was about the only one I actively really liked, from what I remember watching. All right, there's got to be some way to destroy these igloos. Part of me is also wondering if I should prioritize taking out Big Lad over here. Because it's definitely hurting me a little bit. I think Vision's pretty good. Oh, you watch you watch both seasons? Nice. What did you think of the uh, the second season, Ben Neto? Maybe one day I'll go back and watch them all. I don't know. I still haven't even watched Bad Batch. That's on my to-do list. I'm At this point, I'm waiting until all the... Uh, 
Oh, that's Chunky's blueprint up there. At this point, I'm waiting till all the episodes are out of uh, Bad Batch to give it a watch. But it seems like it could be good. You like season two a lot? Nice. All right, good to know. Good to know, maybe I'll have to give it a chance. Yeah. All right, let me see if I can get Chunky's blueprint on the top of the igloo here. That's gonna be hard to get, but let me see if I can give it a, a good shot. There we go. Mm. I'll take that, thank you. All right, I did see some lanky coins over here. I wanna do that. And also, Diddy Bananas up there. Didn't watch Bad Batch at all. I've heard decent things about the final season. The second season was a lot of filler, which I wasn't a big fan of. So I think I'm gonna watch it once all the episodes are out. Yeah, there we go. You know, but for now, I'm just gonna... That should be soon, I think. There's probably maybe like a few more episodes left, but for now, I'm just gonna wait for those to come out. Hey, Rising Dragon Soul, good to see you in chat. Hope you're doing well. We've been having a good week. You caught a couple episodes of Visions? Only watched... Oh, the first season of Bad Batch was pretty decent from what I remember. Season two was a little too much filler. 90s, oh, 97 of X-Men, nice. That's pretty good for now. I've heard good things so far. Love today's episode, nice. Okay, let me ask you, if I've never seen the original X-Men cartoon, am I not gonna get as much out of it? Like, do I need to really watch through the original cartoon to watch X-Men 97, or can I just jump in? From what it heard, it sounded almost like more of a continuation. Which in that case, I guess, I would, probably wouldn't get too much out of it if I didn't watch the original. Oh, you think it's fine to just watch 97? It confuses me, because like I know 97's the new one, but like, it's called 97 because it came out in 1997, right? All right, how does the game want me to get up there? There's got to be a Diddy barrel somewhere. Ah! Can I get up here? I can't. There we go. There we go. Hmm. It's a, it's a continuation, but they do a pretty good job on the... Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Okay, so it's a continuation, but they do... Okay, so they do a good job getting everybody on board. I gotcha. Interesting. All right. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know they do a good job of getting everybody on board, Neto. All right, well, that's a tiny Kong spot. Keep that one in mind. Are there any bananas down here that I'm missing out on? I feel like I should probably look down here. I think you'll be able to watch Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. I was watching 97. You haven't watched the X-Men in the 90s, so you barely remember some plots. The big stories everybody knows. Well, you assume too much of me, probably. <laughs> Everyone who knows at least the basics of X-Men in general. I guess I know, like, the general basics. I've seen most of the movies. Like, oh, they're mutants, and this and that, and whatever. And I don't know. Other stuff happens. James Marsden can kill people with his eyes. Yeah, that's about all I remember. Right, okay, so 97 was the year it ended. Oh, interesting. So they're really trying to frame it as like the continuation. Okay, that's kind of cool though. Oh, what is that? Hmm. Oh, this is the castle. There was some clue about the castle. Oh, right, was it floating up the castle as Lanky? I feel like that's what it was. So I'm mostly good to go. Cool, okay. Everyone knows the baseline story of Dark Phoenix. Yeah, relatively. Relatively. It's been a while since I've seen Last Stand, though. They do Cyclops right. 
Oh, really? It's compared to what? Like the original cartoon? Did they not do them right or something? All right, what's in the castle here? There's gotta be something interesting. Ah, all right. Not what I meant to do. Oh, to the movies? Why, you didn't? You don't think they did? You don't think, you think they did Cyclops a little dirty in the movies? Okay, what was that balloon? It is lanky, okay. Oh my God, man, I keep missing. Thank you. Almost screwed that up. All right, I gotta make the match. Oh, what are you? Hey, Lanky, it's not much fun being stuck in this pokey igloo. So I've made up a game to pass the time. All right, if I don't play soon, I'll die of boredom or cause you'll melt. How about it? Sure. The live action movies. Okay. Tiles turn over as many as you, okay. It's just a matching game, right? I just trying to turn over more than him? Oh crap. Hey, stop it. Oh, I see, yeah. Hey. Hey. That's not very nice. It does look like you can only move one tile at a time, so maybe that's the trick. I don't know if I'm going to win, though. No, I still didn't win. Oh, hey, why'd you get that sneak in there at the very end? That was dumb. He's just a guy who complains a lot and barely does shit compared to the live action show. I feel like I do remember him complaining a lot in the live action movies. I feel like I do remember that. Yeah, I mean, James Marsden was kind of young in that movie, wasn't he? As many to show as your favorite. Okay. So yeah, I just need to, I guess, get more than him. I'm sure there's a method to the madness here that I don't know, but. me up. No, bro, what the hell was that? Damn it. Keep hitting the wrong one. I think he was young. He was probably pretty young. No helping your opponent, Jay. I'm not trying. I'm trying to. I think you should just follow him. That's not a bad idea either. I'm trying to go on the opposite side of the board as him. That's not a bad idea though, Neto. Let's try that out. Oh no, but see, now he's gonna go in a circle. No, he's not, okay. Yeah, he is. So I go, I feel like that's gonna backfire on me a little bit. I feel like I can do it to a certain degree, but I feel like at some point it just becomes a following game and I don't I wanna avoid that. If I try it now, it's actually pretty good, I think. Once most of the tiles are revealed.
Yeah, that actually might have done it. That actually did it, I think. Let's go. Good strategy, Neto. Good call. Oh no, it took me days to think of that game and you beat me. Hey, you beat me a few times first, don't worry. Be modest, be humble. Oh, if yours is, is a remake, it should have been the adventure games. If you have too many arguments, think the game's in age well. Remakes, yes. Remasters, no. Because here's the thing. Right, my big thing and why I would really like to see Sonic Heroes get another chance on modern platforms is because Sonic Heroes has never been re-released outside of its generation. Sonic Adventure has multiple times. They haven't done it in a while, but it's been on other platforms besides the Dreamcast. So honestly, like just because of that, I would personally rather, I mean, I would if they're gonna remake a game, I'd rather see Sonic Heroes. People, I see, I saw the claims about like the the UE Engine 5 remake of Sonic Heroes. That's a complete load of horse shit. I'm sorry. Sega is not, I will be completely flabbergasted if Sega does a full on remake in Unreal Engine 5 of Sonic Heroes. Like, are we seriously considering that as an option? Like, no, that's not what's gonna happen. It's going to be a remaster, if anything. You know, make it HD. Oh my god. Oh, fuck you. Do not do this to me right now. It's going to be a remaster. Make it HD. Clean up the controls a little bit. That's it. So, I see those claims about... Unreal... Oh no, it's time! Uh, oh, it's only you, Lanky. Shut up. Listen, Tiny was fast, but Lanky can be fast. Not this stupid beetle again. Um... Need to concentrate before I start. But like, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I, I don't know why those, I know there's supposed to be like a notable leaker who's saying Unreal Engine 5, a remake of Sonic Heroes, there's no way. I do not buy that. Okay, thanks. Oh, oh. I can't do this. Once again, this is, this is the ability I need as Lanky that I don't have as a pet. So I can practice, but I don't have Lanky's ability. Maybe I unlock it in this level? I hope I do. Can we get way too hopeful? Like the liquid heaven colors. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i still happy that colors got re-released outside of the Wii. Like, that was good. It was just the studio did a bad job of remastering. Or I guess that technically was a remake. Because they built it from the ground up, they said. But yeah, it's just the studio did a bad job. Blind Squirrel, they just did not do a good job. Um, oh, am I supposed to go down here? Oh, I guess I am. Whereas, like, depending on... Depending on who does this supposed remake of Sonic Heroes, it could be better. I don't know. Like, just remaster the game. I don't think Sonic Heroes should get a remake. I mean, I agree with you, Rising Dragon Soul, in that. Nice. That suck. Shut up. Sonic. Sonic Adventure should get the remake out of anything. No, I don't have the ability to try and actually win. Um. Definitely, yes. Yeah, Sonic Heroes could. It, it should get re-released on, on modern platforms. But if you're gonna remake one of the games. I mean, yeah, Adventure is the easy, easy layup right there. But definitely re-release it on modern platforms. Like that would be great. You know, touch up those controls, make it a little less slippery, and like even that on its own, it'd be a so much better game just for that alone. Is there any way I can get up here as Diddy without? I probably need the jetpack. Oh, there's a chunky thing. All right. Honestly, I'm wondering if I should take out the big dude first, or if he's just gonna constantly be a threat. Yeah, exactly. We'll just have to wait and see. Exactly. Only time will tell. You know. Like, do I think Sonic Heroes get re-released? 100%. And it should. I think it should totally get re-released. Oh, cool. Donkey's a... Oh, no! Damn. That was a... Uh... Oh. Where's this? Oh, it's night. Cool. 
You know, I, I really, I, I do think that game should get released on modern platforms. Like, get them, get them off, get them on out of that PS2, GameCube, Xbox era, right? Like, it stinks that people can't play some of these games on modern platforms. You know, give them that opportunity. Whose blueprint do I have? Is it is it Chunky's? It is. Well, maybe I should wait until I have all five, and then do that. Maybe. Wait, I need that. Sure. But yeah, like, do I think the remaster could be real? Probably. I could see that being a thing. But the full on remake, I I highly doubt that. Highly doubt that. It's not out of the realm of possibility, but it just does not seem like something Sega would do. Could be completely wrong, though. I don't know. Only time will tell. But, I mean, it's just, it's, it's exciting to see Sega revisit some of their back catalog. Like, that, I think, is some of the most exciting stuff to come out of these events, you know? Is the only thing in here? I guess it's awesome. You know? Not just for Sonic, but, like, I mean, of course for Sonic, because they don't do that a lot, but also... For their other series, too. You know, it's actually very cool to see. Is there really nothing else here? It's not. I know I gotta go and take out that big guy at some point. Is that? No, okay, that's just nice. That's why I didn't really want to make a YouTube short talking about the whole situation, because I was like, I don't know if this is legit or not. Like, it sounds like there's a chance it could be, but eh, I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Oh, I've been up there. Let me go back over here first, though, and make sure I clean up what areas I remember I haven't done yet. Is like, are they afraid of fans? Mm, no. N honestly? Honestly, Rising Dragon Tail, I have to disagree, because Sega embraces their fandom more than most people. I mean, going back to the, uh, the Sonic Forces OC thing, like, if they were afraid of the fans, they would not have made OCs a thing in Sonic Forces. But also, they're pretty decent when it comes to embracing, like, fan games and fan mods. Like, honestly, they tend to be more supportive of stuff like that than a lot of other companies. Well, I should say a lot of other big companies. You know? So honestly, like, it's it's good to see that kind of support from them. Uh, Nintendo is afraid of their fans, if anybody is. Nintendo is... Oof. They are very stingy with that kind of stuff. Occasionally, they like to throw a bone, but it's, it's very occasional. Alright, I'm trying to remember where that Donkey Kong balloon was that I missed. It's like, I am waiting. Yeah, the, the Pinata, they're not gonna lose money. They're not gonna wanna lose. Oh, sorry. They're not gonna wanna lose money. Let me tell you, if they know something that's not gonna make money, <laughs> they're not gonna. Here's a take a look at this ammo belt. All you Kong dudes get to carry four oh, for just five coins. Alright. All of us? Cool. All Kongs, ammo belt too. More ammo. Cool. But yeah. I mean, like the other night's conversation, if Sega decided to remake that game, I would love that. I would buy it. Did they actually bury copies of 06? Like, legitimately? Because that'd be funny if they did. Um, I haven't heard if they officially did or not. That's, that'd be funny. Um, I mean, yeah, like, that's the thing is, like, I would love to see them remake 06, but they never will, because they would be afraid to remake that game. And it just wouldn't sell very well. Sega's not afraid of Sonic fans, so that's the issue they should be. <laughs> no, I mean... I don't think that's an issue with Sega. Right? Them embracing their fandom is not making things worse for them. In fact, it's making things better. <laughs> you know, the f especially with when it comes to, like, the fan games and stuff. Like, I gotta, I gotta give them props for, like, allowing all those Sonic ROM hacks, because that is honestly bolstering up the community a lot when it comes to the Sonic community, you know? Without that support, Sonic Mania would not exist, like, at all. Nah, it's a joke, Satari. Oh, I, I mean, I would have believed you. <laughs> I would have believed you, honestly. Uh, 
Rise and Dragon Soul. Like, I could have seen them doing that, but they like to poke fun at themselves. You know, they like to poke fun at themselves for stuff like that. Where was this? I don't know, was it up here? No, it wasn't up there. I don't know where it was. I'll find another. I think Tenders doesn't give a shit about us because they know we're going to buy anything for. Ah! I mean, well, they... Nintendo just focuses on making games with fun gameplay, at least fun or unique in their mind, and they're usually not specifically thinking about fans when they do that. It really, I mean, it depends. An exception would be like Sakurai with Smash Brothers, because that's not only under Nintendo's control, right? Sakurai has a good amount of say in that, right? So in a case like that, I would say more of that is for fans. But when it comes to like Mario or Zelda, like, I mean, to some degree, maybe they factor that in, but like they're mostly focused on making fun, unique gameplay styles, right? An iteration for the sake of iteration. Right? That's what Nintendo tends to focus on. Rather than like specifically like, oh, we're gonna make this game specifically for our fans. Like they don't really do that. But that doesn't mean the games they make are bad, by the way. You know, nothing like that. Yeah, kinda like you're saying then, Nintendo kinda does this shit and doesn't really care about what the fans think necessarily. They just wanna make sure that people well, like their game. Bonus stage. It's a bad thing and a good thing. Yeah, exactly. They're not distracted by the fandom. Destroy all the baddies, all right. They're not distracted by the fandom. They're focused on just making good, like fun, unique games. That's what Nintendo's focused on. And less so on like, with this, will this be canon? Will this appease the fan base, right? They don't care about stuff like that. More just like, will the game be fun to play? Is it, is it something unique or does it iterate upon what we've done before? Right? Ooh, I like this music though. Crap. This is gonna be tight, this is gonna be tight. No. Come on! Go! Well done! They could ask the guys that are remaking Project 06 for ideas. Just add. I mean, honestly, though, like... I feel like Sega would kind of consider that. Like, look at what Mania happened. Like, look at what happened with Mania, right? That was kind of an example of them doing just that. You know? So I don't, I don't see that necessarily being out of the question. You know, I could see them doing something along those lines. You know? Nintendo never. Like, there's the story I'm sure you've heard about. The, the the group or the person who, like, I don't know if it was a person or a group of people, who did the fan translation for Mother 3 and, like, release it on, like, official Game Boy Advance cartridges. And they literally, the story is they sent a copy of the fan translation to Nintendo and said, like, literally, take this for free. You can re-release this on your own terms. And they still denied it. <laughs> they were literally given a free translated version of the game and they still denied it. Whereas Sega would have been like, oh great, thanks. Like completely different ideologies. And I mean, to be honest, like I kind of prefer Sega's more in that case, but obviously that's very, I guess I feel like it's a little, uh, you know, there's some more, um, what am I trying to say? And that, that's subjective. Ten out of, yeah, just, there, if Sega were to make remake 06, all of Chaos X hard work go down the drain. Well, I mean, you say that. Look at what happened with AM2R with Nintendo, right? I mean, their hard work didn't go down the drain. It really depends on how they would remake it. I wouldn't still say that'd be hard work down the drain because it's still like a project they worked on that ended up being really good at fixing that game. But like, you know, I don't know. Like there's, there's a lot of cases where, you know, you never really know if a company will actually remake a game or not. So I feel like that's kind of a gamble you take. And with a game like 06, like I do not see Sega ever remaking that. 
So, or ever even touching that. I mean, I don't even know if that game will ever get re-released, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm tempted to say not, but, you know, I, I guess it's kind of tough to say. They need to remake 06 just to see Kiss HD. Yes. That's why I need 06 remade. Not because I want the game to be made good, because I want to see that... I want to see a human kiss a hedgehog in 4K, actually. By Nintendo, you always remember the, the melee situation? Oh, what... Okay, I don't know if I know the details behind that one, Neto. What was it about a uh, melee? Oh, weird. Oh, I see. Interesting. So this is Diddy Spot. Okay. Very nice. Is that a... It is. What do I... Oh. That's another ability I guess I need to have as a tiny that I don't. All right. Well, let me get Diddy in here. Do I have this? Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, I think I remember where that is. Okay. Yeah, I need to get Diddy in here. Yeah, what was it about the melee situation? I don't, I don't know if I'm familiar with that one off the top of my head. Honestly, I wonder... I have an idea. Mr. Krabs. Ow. I didn't even... I couldn't even see that stalactite, man. Maybe I should take care of the big guy first, but too late. I'm already doing this. Um, yeah, let me... If I try Diddy's barrel here... I want to see if I can get over here. In the pandemic, people developed a mod to play Melee online with little delay. Whoa. Use rollback netcode and everything. Oh, is that what Nintendo took down? Did they issue a cease and desist? Because, I mean, yeah, they do that with so many fan games. Especially Pokemon gets hit a lot. Um, I don't know exactly the situation that happened with AM2R. I don't remember if it was a cease and desist or what, but... So they encourages fans to make their fan games while Nintendo says no threats to sue. Exactly. Exactly. Because Nintendo is extremely protective of their IP, whereas Sega is like, go for it, bro. Even Sonic, they're just like, go for it, you know? Like, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of neat that they encourage that, and I think other companies could learn from Sega. Now, I'm not going to say Sega is the best company out there. Like, they make some stupid-ass decisions, but, like... They're not... I don't know. They they also have some interesting decisions. Hey! But I just want... No, no, bro! I was just trying to get the fucking teleport pad. That's all I wanted. And you had to knock me off, you goon. It was supposed to be a tournament. But ten right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember the tournament. Okay, so that was for the modded version you're saying? Interesting. Okay, that I did not know. But yes, I do remember the story about the tournament getting essentially shut down. I do remember that. I will say, I feel like this level's a little tricky to navigate. All right, not there. <sighs> That's probably the only... That's probably the only Diddy Kong barrel up there. Which is annoying, but ow. Nah, I should the two damage, too. That's rough. Right. Yeah, Nintendo is very much against that. It's just, that's their thing. You know? That's just how they operate. They're very protective of their IP. I think it has to be a middle ground between the full control of Nintendo and the... I mean, but like... But like, hear me out. Like, why does it have to be a middle ground? Like, what is Sega doing regarding... The use of fans making run like what's the, what's the bad thing about it? Like if people are gonna make a profit off of it, that's one thing. Like if someone made like a knockoff Sonic game and was selling it for a lot of money, they tried to cop that. That's one thing. Like Sega would go after that, but I think like you know if it's just like a a fan mod that somebody's making, like I don't I don't see the the downside of that really. <laughs> 
Hey. That's all I wanted to do, bro. Thank you. You know, personally, I don't see the downside, but maybe there could be. They just haven't manifested yet, you know? Damn. Oh, uh, you don't agree with Nintendo? You can someone understand them because of the IP. They have some of the strongest in the world. I mean, yeah, for sure. Right, but Neto, that doesn't... Those shit games? I mean, first of all, subjective. Second of all, that's Sega making those games. Like, I mean, I'm sure there are some fan games out there that aren't great, but I wouldn't say there's a shit ton of Sonic fan games that are bad. Right? I mean, unless anybody's heard otherwise, but usually the games that people say are bad are the official Sonic games, and that's... I'm specifically, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, like, protective use of their IP specifically, not just, like, the games. I'm not talking about the quality of the games, I'm talking about, like, the use of their IP. Right, the fact that Sega is open, at least in my perspective, is a good thing. Now, who knows, maybe in five years someone makes a really shitty knockoff Sonic game. I guess Sonic Dreams came to mind. Like, that's the only one I can think of is really bad. But then again, that has some fans. Um, I don't know. Like, I personally don't see that as much of a bad thing. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. What? The, oh, well, come on. What was that nonsense? What was that? Yeah, listen, listen, I, I, I get if you're not a Sonic fan, but I think saying the fuck ton of shit games that Sonic games that have been made, I think that's a bit of hyperbole. I'll be honest. But that's also subjective, you know? All right, that's okay. So, first of all, let me see if I... I don't know if I can get more crystal coconuts here. Exactly. Yeah, at the end of the day, everything's subjective, right? That's kind of the thing. All right. I, I don't think I have much... Uh, ah! Ah! Actually, unless it's through... You know what? I'm going to test it out, go through the waterfall. I'm about to lose my jetpack, but I need to see. Oh, there's candy, actually. This is not where I wanted to go, but okay, I'm up here anyways. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I don't know how you're supposed to get up to these areas. Normally, as these characters. Bro, you like Sonic? It's Sega that does the harm with some of the games. It's Sega that does the harm with the games. Well, I mean, certain games, sure. But you can't say that of every single game. I mean, unless you just hate all the Sonic games. I don't like. I don't know what to tell you there. Like, I feel like harm is such a strong word in this case. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, not all the games are great. There are some games that are. There are some games that are good. There are some games that aren't. Right? It's every company that does harm with their games. Right? So, I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like that's a bit stronger. I see what you're saying. And yeah, like, it is mostly Sega that is Sonic's undoing. Like, with the games that Sonic team in particular sometimes makes. You know? But like, I mean, honestly, recently, Sonic's kind of been on the up and up in recent years. So... I feel like they're getting better, at least compared to where they were like five, ten years ago. But I suppose that is also subjective. You may like some games, you may not like some other games. You know. All right, what? Oh, okay. I was, I was Donkey Kong. I need here. Who's this? Chunky. All right. Let me see what's up. something's up with Candy. Candy, what you got? What you got? I don't want a treat from you, Candy. I don't need your extra melon. Thank you. 
Why does she have, wait, she's gonna give me extra health? She literally just gave me one of her melons. I'm afraid they're my last, oh man. Each of your instruments, great, thanks. <laughs> Bye, Candy. Now she's like the, uh, the woman in, uh, anybody seen Kung Pao into the fist with the one tit? <laughs> uh, gotta love Rare. Rare just writes these, they, they just write themselves. All right, I need Lanky, I need Donkey. Yeah, but think like this, Sonic games where you always wait to see the reviews because you never know how it's going to be. Mario, you always know it's a good game. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I mean... Nintendo's such a high bar, though. That's, like... I feel like comparing, like, it's... Yeah, Sega's on a different level than Nintendo. At least now, certainly. Oh, it's another Diddy Jetpack. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's almost not necessarily a fair comparison. Because they're just on such different levels now. I don't know. You know? Like, I feel like it's almost like... I feel like a more fair comparison would be, like, Sega and Capcom. You know, like, those third party are, like, Sega and Bandai Namco. You know, stuff like that. I feel like that would probably... Oh, how, what the heck? Why do they put a balloon up here, man? That's evil. Screw you. That's freaking evil, man. What the... What in the name... Bro. Oh. That's evil. Hate that. Hate that. You know, Nintendo just has... Yes, Nintendo has a very high level of quality with their games. I guess that also depends on who's making the games, what the games are. But, like, they tend to have a very high quality control of their games. But I also, to be honest, think that's kind of rare for this industry with such a big company. So, you know, not every, not every company is going to be Nintendo. In fact, most companies are not. So I feel like that's setting the bar a little too high. Like, should all companies be like Nintendo? Maybe. Yeah, because then they make more interesting games. But... They're such high quality control. I just found if a movie gets released in the same month as Mario Movie 2, Nintendo had to reschedule the release date. No, Nintendo would not reschedule that release date. Are you kidding me? No, that would be... That would be Sega. But they wouldn't. But they wouldn't because they're dumb. I mean, look at what they did with Superstars and Mario Wonder, right? Remember how that ended up? <laughs> Alright, is this supposed to be a Diddy section? Like, I see a golden banana. Hey! What do they want me to do here? I mean, I like- I do like the fact that I have an extra melon of health now. Hey! Hey, here's an idea. Camera's gonna work for me, right? There you go, camera. I think they should be more like Nintendo on how they treat their game no one cycle. I mean, I would say that about every company, to be honest. <laughs> like, that's the thing. I feel like Nintendo is such a high bar to set. Like, I think... I feel like that should be like almost every company, to be honest. But then again, Sega's not Nintendo. You know, these companies aren't exactly the same, so it's kind of tough to... Tough to group them like that. I don't know what I can do in here is. Oh, and now it closes. Great. <coughs> Where do I? I think I have that. Mm. Ah! <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> That's scary. Um. All right. Well, do I have a way of getting back up here without the jetpack? I hope I do. Oh, my camera. How many Sonic games you got between Mario, Odyssey, and Wonder? Um, technically, Forces came out 
one month after Mario Odyssey. Is that right? Mario Odyssey came out in October. Well, see, also, Neto, we can only count mainline games in that case. Because think about how many spin-off games Mario had. Right? So we can only count mainline games. So Team Sonic Racing doesn't count. So Sonic Forces... Frontiers. Technically, Sonic Superstars right beforehand, so three. Right? That sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like... Forces obviously need a lot more quality control. Frontiers, honestly, they took the time to develop it and play test it, and it ended up being better for that reason. Um, oh, there's another. How can I get up there as Link? Oh, I see. Maybe I can do that. Okay. Yeah, no, in terms of mainline, that, no, that's it. Like, that's the thing. Like, they used to release more. They used to be releasing so many games way more frequently. It's like, I don't blame you for thinking that, Neto. They used to do, like, yearly releases for mainline Sonic games. Thankfully, they have slowed down on that. Especially with Frontiers. Like, they took their time with that game. and know people were complaining about it. I'm like, let this game cook. Give it the time it needs. And it ended up being still rough, but, like, a much more fun product because of it. No, no, no. I don't, I don't blame you thinking that. You know what I mean? I don't blame you for <laughs> for thinking that it would have been more frequent because like they used to do that all the time. They used to have multiple releases in the same year. You know, it was honestly kind of ridiculous. All right, can I, if I do that and then switch to like Chunky, I just want to see what happens. Damn it, no, it closes the door. So whatever's in there, I have to be able to do is Diddy. I just don't know how. Oh, yeah. Like, I think... I think Sega might be starting to kind of turn into that right perspective. Where, like... You know, I, I honestly... I like the idea of what Sega's doing recently with, like... Yeah, don't release mainline games yearly, but, like... You know, have a smaller game like Superstars or like a spin-off game or a remaster. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's a good way to really fill up your lineup, especially for something like Sonic that fans are used to having so much of. I feel like that's honestly a good... Because they have so many games they can remaster. I feel like that's a solid uh, methodology to have there. You know? Oh, you know what? Screw it. How am I supposed to get this banana? 39.15? Oh, man. I didn't think it was going to be so late already. How am I even doing? What's my progress on this map? Not that great, to be honest. <laughs> Very early on. Oh, I forgot about the star. Kill all the enemies. Great. How do I kill the enemies? How do I kill them? Because this won't kill them, right? Unless they just take a lot of hits. Hey. Hey! Don't sneak up on me like that. I legitimately don't know. There's got to be a way for me to kill these enemies that I just don't know. Like, the fact that the oranges don't seem to land is absurd. Like, there's no reason the oranges shouldn't work. Hey! Do me a favor and fuck off. Oh my lord. Alright, I'm dead. 
Yep, that's it. That's it. I literally... Yep, yeah, okay, good. I like these enemies a lot. They're so fun. They're so great. Ah, no, I'm at the beginning of the freaking level. That's good. That's good. Yeah, this isn't one of my favorites. Not one of my least favorites so far, though. It's no, um... It's no Gloomy Galleon. Gloomy Galleon was just... bad. I didn't find Fungi Forest awful, to be honest. It was just a lot of backtracking with the day and night system. You know, I'm gonna... You know what? And this is, this is stupid. But I feel like I have to do it. I'm gonna look up how to defeat those stupid enemies with the giant helmets, because it doesn't make any sense how to do it. Yeah, Kosha is what they're called. Is to you? Oh! Duh. I gotta use the screen nuke. Alright. I forgot about the screen nuke. Guess I'll go do that. Yeah, there's, there's gonna be so many of them in this level. It's annoying. That's the only way to defeat them, too, and you have limited ammo for that. Well, I guess I just got more with candy, so I guess it's not bad. I hate that I even have to use a guide to, like, think of these things. I feel like it's a sign that there's still too much to keep track of in this game. Hey, here's an idea. Don't! Oh, God, the fucking knockback. Hate it. Hate it. All right. Yeah, let me get this again. I remember I had to get. Oh, somebody had to get. Or it was one of the the warp pads. I right for Diddy. It was from Diddy. I think. Okay, no, screw it. While I'm remembering. Oh, right, the chunky spot. I forgot about that. Oh, there's Cranky. Oh, I guess I'm going to Cranky's lab. Ah! Oh. All right. Let me see what Cranky has, because there's got to be some abilities I can get as the three characters. I'm going to take some time to check out. I do not want to play Jetpack again. Okay. Let me check with the other Kong and see, because there's got to be some. Yeah! Alright, not Donkey. I remember seeing the platforms with Chunky and Tiny's faces, so I feel like they might get new upgrades, but the others I don't know. <laughs> oh! It's gotta be some barrel mini game. Let's do it. Oh, that's a lot of barrels. again these could be tough like trying to time it just right oh that was oh that counted all right i'm very surprised by that Ooh. i gotta say like i think my favorite one of my favorite parts about this game is definitely the sound effects they are just so good oh no come on how did that not count but that first one did that i clearly missed GCK sounds like he's in distress. Oh, yeah. It's one thing I wish the, um, the country games did. 
He sounds like he's in so much pain. Alright. There we go. Oh, what? Wow. Alright. It's like, it, some of them, I swear, you just barely miss it doesn't work, you know? It's very... A little finicky. It's a little finicky. Oh, uh, that, okay, that one was on me. That was too soon. Like, they're actually kind of tough. Mm -hmm. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, it's too good. All right. There we go. All right, this is going to be tricky. There we go. There we go. There we go. So that was such a good run. Man, they don't make this easy. These are definitely harder. Just having the third dimension. Like, I mean, some of the barrel challenges were tough in the country games, but like they are definitely trickier here just because you have to deal with another dimension, you know? Come on, that's it. Yeah, good. That's probably the hardest one. Oh! Oh, God! It's so stressful. It's like, rare, why do you do this to me? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I'm getting close. I'll get in one of these days. It's every single barrel, too, he gets launched out of. He just makes sounds of pain. Oh! Oh! All right, I gotta do it from the other side. I'll give it a second. Boom. There we go. I appreciate some of them that give you that ring that can help guide you a little bit, but it's off. All right, other side. There we go. Sorry, chat, I gotta focus. My life depends on this one moment. What? No. Rewind that. Rewind that footage. Can't stop laughing at his pain. I know, it's so funny. Rewind that footage. I made that one. That was, that was a, not a straight shot. That was, wow. Wow. I must have like just barely missed that. No way. I did not miss. Then explain how I missed that first one f three minutes ago. It's not, that that's the thing, it's not consistent. There was the one I missed a few minutes ago that I clearly missed and it counted it. And it was even worse than that one I just quote unquote missed. Nah, Ravi. I made that, I felt that in my gut. I 100%, that one I missed, yeah. I 100% made that. The hitbox on these barrels is honestly pretty bad. I just, I, I, w I would appreciate the consistency, but 
It seems, depending on what angle you approach these barrels, it doesn't like you being not exact. All right, that one's probably too early. Yeah, even though I still wish I made that. See, Robbie, here's 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 my problem with that opinion. Like, yes, I get that this obviously this game is aged, but like at the same time, that shouldn't invalidate me from saying that it's bad. You know what I mean? Like, yes, like it's an old game and it was early three, relatively early 3D. But I don't think we should use as an excuse to, there we go, say if something's bad or not. Like even for 1999, right? Yeah, 1999, that sounds right. That one was on me. Like, we can still say this is bad, even back then. Like people hated this game when it came out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. So honestly, I think I think it's valid to say something is bad. I can say Final Fantasy. Oh, I'm playing through OG Final Fantasy VII right now. I can say there are elements of that game that are bad, right? Like even though these games are that was on me. Like we shouldn't just brush things off because the game's old. Is what I'm trying to say. Like obviously, certain game standards weren't set back then. Stuff like this was though, in stuff like Mario 64. So I guess that's what I'm trying to aim at. Not that your argument's also invalid. You know, there is a, oh, that, I didn't even mean to shoot that. I didn't know the Z button would do that. <laughs> Watch out, the FF community will come for you. No, listen, I'm enjoying my time with OG Final Fantasy VII. I just think the game is crusty. The game is super crusty, but that's also because of the visuals. FF7, and I, I'm gonna try to save some thoughts for when I make an eventual video on it, when I finish the game finally, but like, that is such an ambitious game. Like, you could tell they wanted to do so much with Final Fantasy VII. And it really seems like with the remakes, they're able to fully realize that potential. From what I've heard. You know? But, especially with, like, visuals and controls, they were constrained by technology at the time, for sure. Oh, god damn it. That was me. I was too early. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this is how I'm ending the stream. Thanks, Rare, for making me not make any progress this stream. Thanks, Rare. I love you. That one was 50-50. I've been doing this for like 15 minutes. I have no patience anymore, guys. That one I'll wait for. I'm trying not to let his screams of pain break my concentration. It's so tough. Oh. 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 It's so tough. No, okay. I thought I almost fucked that up. All right. Oh, the banana's right there. Oh, banana. <laughs> Barely missed the first barely. You missed the other one when you hit the barrel. I know, that's the weird thing. Uh, okay, if you're gonna give me a, a barrel mini game, no. If you're gonna give me a barrel mini game, you have to, no. You have to just give me the banana immediately. We can't be doing this rare. Come on. At least the music's funny as hell. Come on, just give me the banana. No, 100% Robbie the... Sorry, I'll read your chat in a second once I'm done with this, but yeah, it's... Yeah, it's a bit the blinded by an assault effect. You know? I feel like because of that, we're, like, in a lot of cases, it's like, oh... You know, Ocarina of Time is one of... That's just an example. Ocarina of Time is considered one of the greatest games ever made. I'm like, bro, there are issues with that game. Oh, okay. I was too quick there. That's fair. That was on me. Link to the Past, one of the greatest games of all time. That, anybody remember that Mafula boss? Boss sucked. Like, the ice dungeon? The dungeon sucks. Like, we're, there are... I'm trying to think of one for Ocarina of Time. Um, I know there are... 
things. Like, no game is perfect. Like, we're allowed... We're not saying the game overall is bad, but we're allowed to criticize parts of even our favorite games. Sonic Adventure. Big shouldn't have that gameplay style. That sucks. Um... Some of the chaos fights aren't that good. You know? Sonic Adventure 2. The emerald hunting system is worse than the first game. The mech stages are subjectively worse than the first game. Uh, you know? Like, there's a lot of stuff where we should be... Right, exactly. It's... A lot of people are blinded by nostalgia for their favorite games. And like, oh, ooh, that was bad. I should have gotten that. I almost had that, too. You know, we should be allowed to criticize even our favorite games. Welcome to bonus stage. You know? So anytime someone's like, no, this game's... Okay, that was bad. <laughs> that was immediate. Anytime someone's like... Imagine every time I had to retry this, I'd have to redo the barrel mini game. Imagine how awful that would be. All right, I'll, I'm going to end stream after this because this is taking way too long. Welcome to bonus stage. At least we get done Young with the gun here. You know, we should be allowed to criticize our favorite games, right? No game is perfect. Every game has its flaws. And we should be able to point out those flaws. It's like, yeah, I really don't like this about this game. But you can still love the game. Frontiers and boss, there you go. The Frontiers New Horizons DLC. That DLC is horribly unbalanced. You know what I mean? Like... This is a lot more difficult than I would have expected. Welcome to bonus stage. Oh yeah, the arcade shooter. Yeah, that that final boss. Yeah, that was just stupid. That shouldn't have been there. Like they tried to be cool about it. It just talk about different for the sake of being different. Just like big, just like big in Sonic Adventure. Same similar vibe. You know, it shouldn't have been like that. You know, Sonic Battle. Well, it's not one of my favorite games of all time, but that game sucks. <laughs> I hate to control it. You know? Listen, Sonic Battle's not actually bad. I just really don't. Genuinely rewind that footage. Listen, disregard the barrel. Sonic Battle took a year to beat. It took me a while, but it was it was a grind. It's also kind of a grindy game. Rewind that act footage, actually. Did anybody see me hit that Kremlin with like three coconuts? Did anybody see that? Cause I did. Like legitimately, I'm not even joking. Like literally rewind the footage and I, I hit the Kremlin. I don't know if it was just invincibility frames or what, but Welcome that Kremlin's got stage. superpowers. <laughs> that was weird. It was the Kremlin at the bottom of the screen. I gotta watch out. That was wild. I hit. I you know what it is? There's like a half a second right before the Kremlings hit you. Where even if you hit them with a coconut, it doesn't count. That's what it is. There's like a little half a second. So I need to hit them and be like before that wind up animation. Cause once they do that wind up animation, they're invincible. That's what just happened. Yeah, and there's a horrible blind spot in the game. No, 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 but that's what's happening. During that wind-up animation, right before they hit you, they're invincible. I need to hit them before they reach me. That's what it is. I need to hit them before they even reach me. Like, I don't have any leeway right there. But yeah, there's also a really bad black box game, Robbie. You're correct about that. Especially with this camera. The camera's honestly probably... Oh, that was close. Oh, see... That time it counted. That time it counted. It did not count the last two times. I don't know what happened there. Maybe the hitbox was just barely off from previous times and it connected here. I don't know. 
but somehow I got it to work that time. I don't know how. I'll take it though. Boom! There's that blind spot, Robbie. There's that blind spot. Oh my god. Alright, we're good. We're safe. Oh, you. <laughs> there goes Donkey Kong, and he died. Um... Oh, no. You're fine, Robbie. No worries. It's okay. We got it. We got the banana. Uh, okay, you know what? Before I forget, because I know I'm going to forget if I don't do it now, let me grab. Oh, let me see, because I think. Probably not Lanky, but I think. Tiny and Chunky might get... Actually, no, Lanky... Let me see. You want to give me the really fast ability? Mmm. Somehow you've played well enough to earn my next potion. It's got to be... Right? Like, the really fast one. Yeah, okay, there it is. That's the one I need. That's the one I need for the beetle. That's the one I need. Oh, banana. For Fungi Forest. Jump into my barrel with your face on it. And you'll emerge like greased lightning. Just make sure you've got plenty of crystal coconut. Right, okay. That's what I needed. You know what? I feel like I should go back and finish up Fungi Forest in the stream. Considering that's the one other thing I need. Like, I wonder if that would just generally be a good idea. Oh no! Bananas! Okay, I need those bananas. Yeah, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Oh, don't hit me, please. Don't hit me, please. Move, Lanky, move! Book it, all right, we're good. Ah! Ah! All right. Yeah, let me just do these couple things first, because otherwise I'm totally going to forget next stream. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Let me... Oh. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. No, I'm not playing jetpack again. I'm not playing jetpack again, you old man. And then after this, we'll set up Saturday night stream for a um, Guilty Gear Strive. That'll be fun. Uh, all right. Oh, actually, wait, what am I doing? Yeah. I just want to check because I feel like they might get abilities based on what I saw before. Tiny, just play my game, damn it. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So what does she get? Oh, yeah, that monkey port thing that Wrinkly was talking about. It is an ability. All right. What does it do? I'm really proud of this one, Tiny. If you stand on a pad with your face on it, press Z, you'll be teleported to another location. Oh? That's weird. All right. Interesting. So you just get teleported with Tiny? Okay. I remember seeing a thing with her face on it. Chunky probably has another one, too. Let's double check. Nah, I'm good, thanks, bro. It's your lucky day, Chunky. Yeah, okay, cool. So, the three thing had abilities. <laughs> Gorilla God. <laughs> Gorilla God. Is it turn him invisible? Whoa! Fuck you, Cranky. Did you see what he said? Oh my god! Cranky! So you're listening to the stream with your AirPods? Nice. And it sounds like someone's knocking on your door every time you get near the barrel. Oh, yeah. That noise? It's the window right here. It's the window of the barrel. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what that noise is that you're hearing, Robbie, I bet you. That I could see how that'd be annoying. That would that would be that would put me on edge so much. All right, well, now I got their abilities. Um, how the hell do I get out of this level? Cranky was literally like, because I just got the ability that turns... Um, 
that turns Chunky invisible. And he was like, use this as often as possible so we don't have to see your ugly features. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Cranky, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, poor Chunky, but Chunky's my favorite. He gets picked on so much. Dude, Chunky's, Chunky's the goat. What a dick, yeah. Chunky's the goat. Oh, ah! Oops. There I am. All right. Chunky is the goat. My poor Chunk, I know. They're all great, honestly. I do like all the new Kongs in this game. I like Lanky. I like, um... Still nothing for this one, then, huh? Still nothing for that. That's got to be an ability I get later, though. Just not in this. Maybe Creepy Castle. I don't know. All right. Now that I have this, I'm going to do this last thing quickly. We go back to Fungi Forest as Lanky. Get to the, the rabbit. And we're going to race that thing. And win this time. Just so I don't forget to do it next stream. Because I will. That way we're fully done with Fungi Forest. Mm -hmm. I wonder who would be able to dig. I could see Lanky doing it. Maybe even Donkey. Alright. Do this one last golden banana and then we're done with Fungi Forest for good. Um, the one thing I gotta remember is first of all, how do I get there? Second of all, ah, no, no, okay. It's not, no, I think I kind of remember where the, or what the entrance looks like. I don't remember if I have to race it in the daytime or if it's nighttime. So I already raced the rabbit once. Okay, it's not that. It's gotta be the green one. I already raced the rabbit once and beat it normally, but now I have to do it with the fast barrel. It's pretty much the boggy of uh, this level of game. The hey! Oh, wait, it's not this area? Oh, I thought it wait. Oh, really? Ah, I thought it was. Never mind. This is the wrong area. All right. This is not the right area. Wait, then how did I... Maybe it was the purple one. Now I'm trying to remember. Oh, you know what? I could just use the teleporting things. What am I doing? Which one? What was it? Three or four? It was one of those two. It was three. It might have been the fourth one. Let me see. Yeah, okay, it was this one. All right, Mr. Rabbit. Got sharp, nasty teeth. Wake up, bro. I think it should have saved my first race because the barrel's there now. Yeah. Two out of two. All right. Now I can actually run. Let's see how this works. Let's see how fast Lanky goes. Look at that rabbit's face. Ugly looking thing. That, the rabbit should be using the invisibility spell, to be honest. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It was right. Bro. What do you mean? Okay. That was interesting. I don't know what that was about, but that was interesting. Oh, I see. And yeah, I need the crystal coconuts to keep it running. Oh, thanks. Oh, the rabbit still beat me, too. Damn it. I need a lot of crystal coconuts to get this going. Yeah, it's not looking good for me. I had a bad start. Yeah, that was rough. <sighs> See, the thing is, I think I need... No, I need more crystal coconuts first, because now I'm low on crystal coconuts. I appreciate thinking about it more. Because I know crystal coconuts are a thing in the show. I appreciate more and more how much the TV show seems to be pulling from this game. You know, in terms of the mannerisms, in terms of certain stuff. 
You know, because from what I remember, crystal coconuts were not a thing in the country games. I'm pretty sure that's specific to this game. So, I don't know. I just find that really funny. Like, I don't know if any of the other characters are even a thing in the show, but I, I gotta appreciate that. I gotta appreciate that they put in all that effort. But here's the thing, if I run out of crystal coconuts here, how am I gonna... I'm gonna have to, like, probably reload the the area and somehow and respawn the crystal coconuts. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Are you ready for me this time, Mr. Rabbit? Yeah, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, as long as I don't waste my time jumping in the barrel, I should be better off. If I do, then I'm screwed. Bro! Bro! What? What is it with the hitbox? What is it with the camera? I swear to God. I can't even... I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm just gonna wait it out. It's not even worth the risk at this point. Keep in mind, I have limited crystal coconuts. There's no way I can beat the rabbit. I start here. They put it just far enough to... What? Explain to me. Okay. For some reason, if I try to jump in the barrel from here, I just miss it? No, that works. Why? That was weird. All right. I don't know. I can't be doing that at the start of the race. That'll mess me up. All right. Oh, actually, perfect. Yes, start me right... No, okay. They pushed me back. <laughs> I was going to say. All right, you ready? There we go. I'm coming for you this time, rabbit. I still don't know if I'm going to be fast enough for this guy, though. Oh! I'm gonna throw on the towel. Nope, I'm gonna throw on the towel. I ran right into the tree stump. That's the thing, if I make any mistake, if I make any sort of mistake, I'm screwed. So I can't be doing that. Man, that's so funny. You're so funny. All right, let me try it again. I don't even know if I have enough crystal coconuts. I might be out. I might be out of crystal coconuts there. This game's camera really does the game at a service. I'm not going to lie. It really gets in the way more than anything. All right. You think you're so fast, little rabbit. Just you wait. You've never seen a faster monkey in your entire life. All right. Not gonna hit the tree stuff this time. There we go. That was close. That was close. I'm about to run out of crystal coconuts. Yep, so I need more. That's good. Good to know. Good to know retries are borderline impossible. really tough. I don't know if it's possible. I also am going to say, why do they not give you unlimited crystal coconuts at this part? Like, I'm genuinely confused why they don't. Where's the closest place I can respawn? And actually, no, here would be good. I'm just gonna try to respawn the crystal coconuts and see what happens. See if it even lets me. I might have to go out of the level and back in to do that too. Cause I don't think, if anybody knows, let me know, but I don't think there's a way to refill crystal coconuts without collecting them individually in the levels, right? So I have zero right now. Did they respawn? No, 
No, they did not. All right, great. Uh, all right. All right. This is what I'm gonna have to do every time if I fail. This is what we're gonna have to do. All right. Let me find the warp pad. Now, if they don't respawn, there's an actual problem. But they should. They should definitely respawn once I exit the level. That enemy respawns, so that gives me hope. Yes, okay. A little annoying. A little tedious. But what are you gonna do? I'm just trying to think of how I actually stand a chance against this against this rabbit here. Like what are the what are the strategies to actually make this faster? You know, like I actually I actively don't know. That's only seven crystal coconuts. How many do I need to fill up here? Are there any around here? No, I don't think there were, if I remember correctly. There's some over here I know. But that's not gonna get me to my full gauge either. At least I thought, wait, I thought there were around here. Oh no, they're around the other spot, okay. Yeah, you see how this could get tedious? <laughs> I just wanna beat this stupid rabbit and be done with this level. You're welcome, Peñata. You're getting your extra long stream out of this now. I would like to think 15 would be enough. Like, maybe just barely. So what did I do last time? 13? It's like, you need to have that power up constantly in order to have a chance against the rabbit, right? Let's see. I'm ready for you. They say, yeah, sure. Listen, you're not that late. You can slow down. But you got plus with Yeah. Yeah, I guess it works out that you're here, Ravi. I guess it works out that you're here. Alright. So here's the thing. It takes a while to transform. Unless jumping is gonna make me faster, maybe even. Oh crap, oh crap, okay, okay. Avoid, avoid, avoid. If I jump, actually, is that going to make me faster? It actually might. Crap. Oh! No! Well, that's it. Alright, I'm going to exit level. Yep. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Throw in the towel. It's like there was no recovery from that. That was it. All right. Well, now at least I will have extra uh, enough crystal coconuts on this next try. That's rough. You have like no room for error on that race. I was kind of doing okay for a second too. That did not last long. Mm, no. Okay. So back here. There we go. I do like the leaf effects, I will say, on the screen right now. That's kind of cool. I like that aspect of it. And it's like overall, like still compared to Banjo-Tooie. I mean, I know I've still got a bit of the game left, but... I don't know. Like, I still... I think I prefer some of the levels in Banjo-Tooie more. Some of them. Not all of them. Some of them. I feel like the ones that are good are better in Banjo-Tooie than this game, but Banjo-Tooie also had some pretty bad levels. But like, I feel like I'm still enjoying my time with this game more because of the backtracking doesn't feel as egregious in this game. And also just the way they handled multiple abilities for Banjo and Kazooie was just really confusing in that game. Like, in this game, it's spread out between five different characters, and like I said, the inputs are relatively the same. So it makes it slightly easier, I'm not gonna say perfect, but slightly easier to remember. Especially compared to Banjo-Tooie. Like, that was rough. I think the jumping helps a little bit, honestly.
Crap. All right. Got stuck on the ledge there a little bit. That's not great. I appreciate how uh, <laughs> the rabbit kind of takes that uh, the big guy there. All right. Go! Crap. Oh, crap. No, I'm still not going to win. So close, too. That was honestly decently close, too. Almost made it. All right. It was still a good run. It was still a good run. Actually, ooh, hold up. Oh, interesting. So now the crystal coconuts did respawn. Or, oh, wait, were these the ones I didn't collect before, actually? Yeah, those are the ones I didn't collect before. All right, I think I might have enough, enough for another run. Let's try it. That's really tight. I honestly... I don't know. If I didn't get stuck on that wall, maybe I could have won, but you have to be, like, almost perfect. In this race. That's really tough. There we go. Oh, thanks. <gasps> Crap, so close. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Crap, I'm still not gonna beat him. I'm still not gonna... Oh my god, that was so close too. No, you stupid rabbit! <laughs> the next rabbit I see in real life is dead. No, actually, don't worry. I'm not going to harm any real life rabbits. Stop your fucking laughing, dude. Nobody wants to hear that. No. It's You know what it is? It's the taunting. It's the taunting with it. Like, if the rabbit was just like, Oh, you'll do better next time. Like, I'd be like, thank you, Mr. Rabbit. Like, I appreciate... I appreciate the the positivity, but it's the hee hee. I'm like, shut the f up. Like literally, so close to smacking you. I'm so close to monkey slapping you. Exactly. It's the face. It's the smug look on the face. It's just the taunting, man. It's like. And same thing with the beetle. I hate the rival races in this game. It's the same thing with the beetle. What, what, what's the laugh the beetle makes? You know what I'm talking about, right? The, the beetle you race against? I'm gonna have to do that as Lanky again in uh, Crystal Caverns. Which I like that. <laughs> Whatever the, the laugh it does, I'm like, shut up. <laughs> it's the taunting. I mean, granted, all rare kind of rival characters are like that. I think of like um, Mr. Vile and Banjo Kazooie. I mean, even Canary Mary, I feel like, was pretty taunting in the. Uh, in that game from what I remember. All right, Rabbit. I was very close. I'm trying to think of how else I could even get better at this. Like, what else could I be doing to get faster? I was very close last time. But what else could I be doing to be faster? Right? I genuinely don't know. I feel like the jumping was helping me. Maybe it wasn't? All right, how do I throw in the towel? Here. Yeah. The nice thing, that's so funny. You're stupid, Lanky. Thanks. That's at least a fast way to restart. Completely missed that barrel. There we go. Like the short hop smash strategy, you know? Oh crap. Okay, that was that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I think that was bad, I think. Crap. I don't know if I can recover from that. Let me try it though. Let me try it. It's not completely out of the blue. Oh, what just happened there? 
Hello. It's still not enough. No. Am I seriously gonna look up a guide of how to beat the rabbit? I'm genuinely trying to figure out what I'm missing here because I don't I don't know what I'm missing. This might be worse than Canary Mary. That's all I'm saying. This might be worse than Canary Mary. I mean, well, that was just button mashing. That makes no. How does that make sense? That's not the rematch race. Wait. How? Wait a minute. Hold. That's impossible. Hold on. So I'm watching this video. I'm watching this guy. That's physically impossible. I'm gonna try something. And this to me feels like cheesing the game. But if it works, we're gonna do it. I don't know how the person in this in this video made this possible. But I'm gonna try it. Let me fully fill up just to be safe. And then I gotta be quick to move. And you'll see what I try to do. Might as well be full. All right. Interestingly, no barrel yet. How did they, how did they do that? Oh, you know what it might be? Hold up. You know what it might be? Okay. I think I, I think I know what they did. I think I know what they did. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to purposefully, purposefully waste this run. All right. Give me a second. Because if I can get this to work, I win automatically. Well, not automatically, but... So give it a second. I think this is what this, this person in this video did. Which is kind of stupid that you have to do it. But if it works, it works. Alright, Rabbit, come on. You're faster than that. Where'd you go? There you are. All right. Let's see if I did it right. Is it before or after? Are you ready? You ready? What? Yes. What? What, what do you mean? I pressed... Okay, I think I did it wrong. I think it's because I pressed, hold on, I think it's because I pressed the, uh, the wrong buttons. All right, I'm gonna have to let them do it again, but th if I can get this to work, then it will work. Is it cheating? Yeah, but I don't see any other way to do it. All right, you do your thing. I'm gonna collect some coconuts just to fill up. So I lost a couple. Thank you. And then I just gotta be ready for him.
And if this doesn't work, then I don't know. Because <laughs> this is the only thing I could think of possibly working. <laughs> oh, down the wrong pipe. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Come on, rabbit. <laughs> oh, you're fast. All right, you ready? Yep, your thing, your thing. Yes. Okay, I think it worked, I think it worked. Maybe? Did it work? No, it didn't, what the hell? Okay. It did not work. How did this person do it in the video? It's almost like... Also, it looks like there's a way to get a crystal coconut upgrade. I don't know how to do that. Maybe someone else gives me that later on. Okay. It's almost like I wait for him to finish and then do it. Maybe that's the trick. Instead of doing it right before he crosses the finish line, because it gives me a little bit of time. So if I wait now, right, do your thing. No, oh, damn it. How do you, how are you supposed to do this? Now I don't know. I can try legitimately again, but I don't think I'm going to be able to win this race. Honestly? There you go. Thanks, camera. Right there. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Ready? Okay. Chris Coconut's still there. They're still there. Oh, why does it go away? Why did it go away? Why would it re... Mm. Unless it's the fact that I sat... Okay. Because in the video... He wasn't all fours like that. So yeah, this way I'm just going to spend too much time trying to cheese this race and not do it legitimately, but... At the same time, I don't know if this race is possible to do legitimately. I could look up another video and say. It's just the fact that it's getting to this point is really bad. Dude, I pressed A. I was still in my standing animation, sure, but... Uh, let me give it another shot. This is such a pain in my ass. Like, this race is actively not fun because I feel like I don't have a chance to win it legitimately. But then to try to cheese it, I also feel like there's no legitimate way to do it. So, but see, Pinata, that's the thing. I don't think it is. Canary Mary, you can win by button mashing enough. This, you don't. Like, I didn't have to cheese the Canary Mary fight to win. I just, for a lack of a better word, got good. I got fast enough with my button mashing. It was still badly designed, 
but I think I still, this is still worse in my opinion. I miss Boggy. Where's Boggy when you need him? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold it down. Hold it down. Now press A. But he's not standing anymore, so I have no idea how they did it on that video. No idea how they did it. That cheat, that's impossible. Okay, there we go. Physically impossible, however that person did it. Physically impossible. I was like, oh, that'll do it. Like, nope. Physically impossible. Do not understand. Oh my god. Ah, oh, there we go. This, this race is garbage. This race is atrocious. I literally don't know what to do. I am just absolutely screwed. All right. Get, get out of this form. Get out of this form, Lanky. Wasting my time. Let me look up another video. This is, this is bad. This is like really bad. How to cheat the rabbit race. There we go. There's so many videos on YouTube about how to cheat the rabbit race. You know it's bad. My grandpa could run faster than you. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. Okay, I see kind of. There's a way to cheese it, but it's so. I almost wonder if it's maybe the cheesing technique is ruined because of the emulation. I almost wonder. But he watched said you want to get to the exit at the end, but skip and jump in the barrel. Right, that's what I'm looking at now, Robbie. It's like you do the last last hurdle and then just kind of wait in front. Wait for him to say his dialogue. But here's the issue. Okay, so I don't have to be in all fours necessarily. See, the fact that I have to consider this is what's bad. But see, here's the other thing. No, 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 because if I do that... Oh, there goes the fucking audio. God, this sucks. I'm sorry, I... Yeah. I, I live there. Okay. I can't excuse this game for shit like this. Like, I actually can't. This is really bad. I don't know what they were doing. There. I mean, between. Because this came out in 99. Banjo 2 came out in 2000. To me, it seems like they were rushing out these games. Is that a fair statement to make? And they weren't quality testing this enough? Because, I mean, this is pretty bad. The fact that I'm going on YouTube and seeing all these videos that say how to cheese the rabbit fight. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, the core gameplay is fun. But when you're going after certain moments, like... They, I just, I don't... There's something off about this. There's been a few moments like this in this game, and Banjo-Tooie, to be fair. Banjo-Tooie's under the exact same situation. To be honest, I think it's even worse in Banjo Tooie's case. But, like. And I get, like, you can make the argument, oh, this is optional because it's 100% completion. But, like, you still need to make sure that's fun enough and it's not broken. Also, why are you sleeping with your eyes open? Why are you sleeping with your eyes open, man? That's terrifying. I don't like this rabbit. Okay, so here's the thing. Why? 
why is it saying to go through the final exit? Because here's the thing. I waste so many crystal coconuts doing that. Because then you start off the next race with barely any crystal coconuts. I don't see how that's enough to last you through the race. Oh, okay, thanks for not showing me the entire race too, bro. What the hell? They don't even show the entire race. Yeah, this dude totally ran out of crystal coconuts on that race. What? That makes no sense. All right, well, let me try it. How many do I have? 18, that's not gonna be enough. This is atrocious. Is this where I give up the 100%? Because the game's broken? Also, I want to keep in mind, what was it that I did last time? That was, like, apparently, like, awful on the Wii U emulation, specifically, and it could be cheesed on the regular version? I forget what that was, but keep in mind, I am playing the Wii U emulated version, so... So here's the thing, right? I don't think this is going to be enough crystal coconuts to make it through. God. That tree stump is awful. Maybe do I need that crystal coconut upgrade before I do any of this? Is that what the game wants me to do? If so, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough crystal coconuts for this. All right, so you ready? So watch this. Watch this. Where's the barrel? What? Where was the barrel? What happened there? All right, I'm gonna give this one more decent attempt, and if I can't do it, I'm just gonna end the stream here, because this is just bad. I'm sorry. Maybe I wait till I get that crystal coconut upgrade, and that'll make it easier, because I'll be able to store more, but like, that's still bad. Like, I actively don't know what else I can do to make this better. I genuinely don't know. The barrel spawning is weird. I think, I honestly think part of it is the Wii U emulation is making it worse. I can't tell. I don't know what the original N64 version was like. All I know is that this game is notorious when it comes to emulating and I don't trust Nintendo's virtual console job to do the case, you know? That's why like, I hope they bring this to NSO, but part of me's worried that it's gonna be another similar situation because I'm trying to remember what it was that I did last time. That was like, I looked at, oh, it was the, um, it was the, it was the mini game, the welcome to bonus stage, where you try not, you're trying to shoot the gold banana, but not the Kongs, and like the lights will flicker on and off, and when it goes on, you have to shoot the banana, and there was one, I think it was in, it might have been Fungi Forest, actually, the last stream, the stream before, where it's borderline impossible on this version. And so I had to use a pause glitch to get through it. But apparently it wasn't like that in the N64 version. It's only the Wii U emulation version. So that kind of makes me a little concerned for <laughs> if they decide to bring this game to NSO. Yeah, this is not great. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I could, I could try to come back to this in a later point and, and actually try to do this, but like, based on the results here, I don't know if this is going to be impossible. Come on. Around the stump, thank you. Okay. 
All right, come on, come on. Please spawn the barrel. Please spawn the barrel. When will the game come to Switch? I don't know. You know it's better? What? And see, then there's moments like that where the menu shows up immediately and I can't cheese it. So that's a problem. One more time. One more time. Like that's, that ruins the cheesing. That could be the emulation for sure. That feeling when you miss the barrel. Save state. There's, I can't do anything to save state. That's not going to help it, is the thing. That's not going to solve anything. That's not going to make it any easier, because the issue is... The issue is just the game itself. I don't know what else to say. There we go. I guess I got to learn how to speed run. That is the only logical course of action here. Oh my god, that's it. All right, we're done. <laughs> I am done with this game. I am so sorry. Sorry, I'm done with this race. This is atrocious. <laughs> All I'm going to say is rare. I don't know who play tested this game on your end, but I am glad you don't make these games anymore. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Oh, man. That's like bad, too. Unless there's another upgrade for this move that makes Lanky even faster. So now I get two shadow streams. No, no, I'm still going to do this. Don't get me wrong. It's just like. Right, rabbit race skip. Everybody's posting about this. So clearly there's a problem. Some of the individual challenges in this game are just awful. What? Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, that's funny. Someone apparently did a really funny skip of DK64. To get, okay, that's funny. To get the golden banana. I don't know how you do that. What in the world? There's a lot of glitches with this game, apparently. I mean, I guess it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I don't know. This is... I can't keep this stream moving on for this fucking long. I need to go to bed. <laughs> this is... But this is bad. Like, I am sorry, but, like... I was trying to give the game some credit up until this point. And I get that this is technically optional. But it's like, bro... You can't make your games broken like this. And it could be the emulation. I don't know. Maybe Wii U emulation makes this even worse. Like, we've that's already been proven based on that one mini game. Like, the emulation is bad, but like, this is borderline impossible. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not gonna deal with this for now. Might not get the 104%, whatever this game decides to fucking do. That, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Lanky, you, you, you did exactly what I wanted to do. Good, good for you. I'm going to slap you right in the ass. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. The core of this game is good. Some of the individual challenges are just like completely not playtested. I, I, I honestly, I wish I could just I say say which one it is. It could be the emulation, it could be the game. I don't know. Based on the number of videos on YouTube, it makes me think it's the game and not the emulation in this case. Just because it sounds like it's an entire issue with that challenge. 
I don't know. But it's really hard to say. It is really hard to say. Anyways, I mean, I do want to go ahead and see what my completion percentage is at now. I know it's not going to be a lot because I didn't make that much progress on the stream because of BS like that. But let me see where I'm at. I just, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Man, these last couple streams of this game have just not ended great. <laughs> To be completely honest. And you know what it is? It's because both of these streams ended with that stupid rabbit. It's the rabbit. It is the rabbit. Here we go. So they're finally here. Ready to destroy your sanity. I do want to see my completion percentage. I'm only at 67. Okay. It's rabbit season. Rabbit hunting season. I hope so. I'm going to eat so much rabbit on Easter this year. Oh, uh, man. I'm going to try, but, like, I'm not going to attempt that race again next stream because I'm not going to make any progress, so I need to look into how to do that. <laughs> That's dark now. No, honestly, we'll see if I feel better for a Sunday, but my parents are making... I think they're making lamb this year, which could be good. Easter stream? No. Um, yeah, just stream of me hunting rabbits. Maybe the whole stream. <laughs> nah, I would never do that, dude. I'm not gonna hunt any animals. Are you kidding me? I would never do that. <sighs> this game's starting to catch up to me, man. We're in part 10 already. Billy Hatcher stream? I don't own the game, so I don't. can't say. I can't say yes because I don't run the game. I'm tired. I'm done with this game for today. I'm deflated. Oh, you can't hear that music. Hold on, let me let me switch to the the, the view. There you go. What's up, chat? Now you can hear the music. Why is it... Oh, hold on. I don't know why the background is non-existent right now, but sure. Did I save? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You think I forget to save? Oh, yeah. Save stated and saved in game. Don't worry, I did all of them. Why is Blaze kissing Sonic? I don't need that. That is not... Trust me, that is not... That is not indication of my watch history. That one is. Let's go. <laughs> Schedule Saturday stream. This is why I can't stream late, because I get all loopy and tired. All right. Got to set. <sighs> to be honest, I feel like doing this tonight. It's so late. Recom YouTube recommendations do lie. All right. I've gotten a lot of titty videos, and I promise you, I don't look at those all the time. All right? Like, stop it. How do I... No, how do I say block ad? Thank you. See, this... Okay. This is the kind of video I watch. Where'd my audio go? There it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. As a No More Heroes fan, that was so funny. One more time. That was good. That was good. Stop posting. Oh no, my audio. I, I got a thumbs that up. Uh. 
Oh, that's the problem. Where are you? There you go. <laughs> the edit there is good. I was in a server, right? And all of the channels are just be stuck. I, I showed my champion underwear to my girlfriend and the logo, I flipped it and I said, hey, babe, fuckhead. <laughs> this meme is classic. I love this. I fucking looked at a cat. I said, that's a big cat. I looked at my penis. I think a bean katana. And I go, penis, more like fucked up. <laughs> that's a classic meme. Yeah, I'll set up Saturday stream later. God, that's so good. That's so good. Where's the laughing? No, it's crying. Is that laughing? I don't know. Oh, that was good. Oh, there's another one. There's more. There's multiple. My friends on TikTok send more. On Discord, it's... I was in a server. Right? Okay, okay. And all of the channels are just Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker. I, I <laughs> my champion underwear to my girlfriend and the logo. <laughs> That's good. Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker. And I said, That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard. <laughs> I fucking looked at it. Assassin said, Wasn't that a persona song? I looked at my penis. I think of the beam katana. <laughs> this, one's, this one's also pretty good. Uh oh, Killer Seven, dude. These are getting deep cut. All right, let's do the Killer Seven one. I haven't played Killer Seven, but this is good. Oh my god, this is a deep cut. I gotta. The sound effect is so weird. You're fucked. <laughs> Ooh, if this is the music in the game, I want to hear this. That was okay. I feel like if I understood it more, I would get it more. But I definitely did not understand that. All right. The the stop posting about memes are good. Those are good memes. Mo Mario Party, that's going to Oh, we got to watch all these. Hold on. Stop posting about I'm tired of seeing it. My friends on TikTok send me on Discord is fucking <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good that was pretty good oh there's so many of these <laughs> uh stop posting about melee the, 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 what the yeah that's that's oh that's why that's the watch this later Oh, that's good. The edit, the edit at the end was very good. <laughs> Robbie, this is what happens when I stream past my usual time. This is what happens. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that one was pretty decent. I've seen better. Meta Knight? All right. Oh, see, that's fitting. All right, let me add this to the list. We're gonna end. We're gonna end with that one. We're gonna end with that one. That's that's a good one. Stop posting about it's topical. I don't even know what that song is. I've only played Pikmin three. 
Mario. All right, all right, all right. There you go. There you go. There you go. What? Nah, it's too long. Oh, all the all the small things Pikmin edition. You you all got to watch that. That's a good one. Okay, that might be the best one yet. That one was really good. <laughs> that, I get that's that's a rewatch right there. That one was probably the best one. That was good. One more time. One more time. Gotta appreciate it's the Sonic Adventure 1 theme. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but gotta appreciate that. <laughs> I forgot about that. This delicious banana. I forgot about that quote from Sonic X. That's so good. All right, it's it's getting late. So we're gonna end with... Um, well, okay, no, we'll, we'll do this with the Sonic one because it's only fair, and then we're gonna end with that one. Stop posting about it. I'm tired of saying it. My friends on TikTok send me on Discord. It's fucking neutral. I was in a server, right? And all of the channels are just wrong. I showed you a video with my girlfriend. And I'm not like looking at it. Hey, it's right. Ding, 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 ding. Good music choice. Good music choice. The T-Lopes remix nonetheless. Okay, that one's okay. That was okay. Oh, wait a minute. This one's also topical. Stop posting about me. I'm tired of saying it. My friends on TikTok send me on Discord. It's fucking nerdy. I was in a server, right? And all of the channels are just nerdy stuff. I, I showed my champion underwear to my girlfriend. And the logo, I flipped it. And I said, hey, babe, when the underwear... <laughs> That's pretty good. I looked at my penis. I think of the astronaut's helmet. And I go, more like... Sussy Roth, beautiful. That was pretty good. That was pretty topical. No, it's Hydro City Pinata. Get it right. All right. Now, okay, okay. Hello, Seth Roth. What's going on? Um, we gotta watch this. This is gonna. I, I gotta end this at some point. I was in a server, right? And all of the channels are just fake news to be in this moment. I showed my champion underwear to my girlfriend in the logo. I flipped it and I said, hey, babe, you're pretty good. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's good. I said, surveillance camera? I looked at my <laughs> I think it's my champion's head. And I go, more like, get you waiting, huh? <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, all right, all right. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, all right. You know what? Okay, that's good. That's a good one. We're going to end. We're going to end. I promise. It's time to end this with stop posting about. I imagine this is Island Swing, but it's Island Ding. This, this feels fitting. This feels fitting to end this stream with. So we're going to end it here with this last one. It's Hydro City, actually, Robbie. There should be a space in between those two. All right. We're ending it with this. Great. Thank you. Nope. Oh. Yep. There it is. Oh, that percussion's good. <laughs> that's a like, that's an easy like for me, Doug. Oh, I already liked it. This is such an iconic song. Hydros and water and city is in city, you're right. <laughs> the scream. That's so good. This is phenomenal. The scream. Whenever the screams there in the background, it's too good. This is so good.
All right. That was a good one to end on. That was a very good one to end on. I'm going to post that in the Discord because I want to. Like, come on. That was too good. That was too good. But I do need to end this at some point. One of these days, this has this stream has to end. It's like... That was that was a more fun way to end it, though. It's just that this game keeps pushing back on me wanting to complete it. So I'm kind of like, I'm going to finish the game, but the 100% is getting way more difficult. It's really, really making it tricky. I guess this belongs in memes, technically. In you go. All right, with that, though, everybody, that is going to do it for tonight's stream of DK64. So the schedule will be Saturday night. Actually, I'm trying to think if I want to start early Saturday night. Like maybe 6 p.m. Eastern instead of 7. We'll see. I'll confirm later. I might try to do that, honestly, so I can catch the podcast after. We'll see. But it's going to be Saturday night. Sometime around there, 6 or 7, I'll announce the time later. Um, that'll be the Guilty Gear Strive live stream where I'm going to get my ass kicked in Guilty Gear. Neto said he might join. Um... Maybe to show me the ropes or something, feel free to join as well if you'd be interested um, in checking that out. Um, I will be playing through PC Game Pass. I don't know if that... I'm assuming this crossplay with that game. Um, but that's what I'll be doing then. Then, I know I said I was going to go back to Tuesday, Thursday next week. I forgot I have something Tuesday night that's kind of important that I get done. Um, so, we're going to be doing Monday night, which is actually kind of fitting because Monday's April Fool's. And I believe, so that's when we're starting Shadow the Hedgehog is Monday, April 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern. That is really fitting because as from, I'm pretty sure Shadow the Hedgehog was announced on April Fool's. I'm, don't fully quote me on that, but I believe that's how the story went. Is that Shadow the Hedgehog, the game was announced on April Fool's back in probably what, 2000? four or five i'm pretty sure don't yeah definitely don't quote me on that but i believe that's what happened so it just it works out too well so monday april 1st at 7 p.m eastern i will be starting shadow the hedgehog will be starting just the normal runs of that game quote it don't quote me i said don't quote me definitely fact check me but I there's something with Shadow the Hedgehog and April Fools that the announcement timing, not the release, I don't think, but the announcement timing is around then um, from what I've heard. But so, yeah, that'll be Monday anyways. And then next Wednesday will be more DK64. Um, I'll just I'm going to skip the stupid rabbit race in Fungi Forest for now and just go right back to Crystal Caves. And we're going to just go from there, maybe finish up that level. That'd be nice um, and try to go from there. But and then next weekend, I put up another poll because <laughs> I swear, if they're tied again, um, I've got one more weekend after this weekend of the free PC Game Pass. Shout out to you. You know who you are for giving me that code. Um, shout out to you. But I do have a new poll on the community tab to vote for between Halo Infinite Multiplayer, going back to that, and played up on PC Game Pass because they both tied in the poll from the previous week. And so now I put up a new poll and I can't see the results. Thank you, YouTube, for not showing the poll to me. Anyways, hopefully they're not tied still like they were earlier today. Because if so, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Uh, but <laughs> that'll be next weekend stream. So yeah, Saturday night, Guilty Gear. Monday night, Shadow the Hedgehog. Wednesday night, DK64. And then that weekend, whatever of those games. So that'll do it. That's gonna be the schedule. Um, I know I haven't put some videos out in a bit. Go check out the YouTube shorts. I'm working on the PAX East vlog. I, I Last night I was doing some really stupid but fun editing for that. So definitely check that out once it's up. I'm hoping to have it up by like the end of the weekend. Um, that's the current plan. It's going to take a little bit to edit the footage together and not make it like super bloated. So working on that. And then from there, I got some other stuff planned. And like the Shantae tier list video is going to be coming sometime early next month at this rate. So keep those in mind with that. I do want to say, however you watch, always appreciate it. Live in the chat or not, or watching the VOD. Having you all here makes me lose my sanity just a little bit less. Because if I wasn't streaming DK64, I would have broken my gamepad by now. So the fact that you're all here to keep me in line, I appreciate it. Thank you, however you interact or watch. 
Always appreciate it. I do want to give a special shout out to everybody who did show up live in chat tonight, though. Robbie, Peñata, Rise and Dragon Soul, thank you guys for chilling here at the end. Neto, of course, thanks for being here earlier. Mercury for dropping by earlier. It's a good, solid crowd. I do also want to give a shout out to... Oh, I'm so... I, I, I can't find your uh, username now. You posted the first comment earlier. I apologize. Shout out to you for commenting here. I will have to check out that game you mentioned, that N64-like platformer. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody else for being here, for chilling. Hope you continue to enjoy the rest of your week into the weekend. Robbie, I hope you in particular have a good weekend, because I know you said you have a long weekend coming up. Pinata, good luck with classes. Rise of Dragon Soul, good luck with whatever it is that you're doing. And uh, everybody else, I will see you all later. Good night, everybody. Where am I going? There we are. Good night, everybody. We're gonna go want some wabbits.